Well, hello again, friends. It is the Angry Ragtimer here on a lovely Thursday evening, or maybe another time wherever you are. And we are back on the Suffer and Southern Railroad once again. Currently just here solo. We may have some friends joining in in a little bit. But I am here with the Banana Train. And why am I here with the Banana Train? Well, we're down at Dillsboro, and we need to do some switching. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We have a bunch of cars that need to go down the East Silva. A couple of cars we need to switch out along the way. Uh, meanwhile, we've got our passenger trains doing passenger things. Let's make sure the one at Ella keeps moving here. Um, but we are continuing in the usual stead of causing and fixing chaos. And the current chaos is, once again, everyone's favorite thing the debt so currently we are fifty three thousand dollars in debt holy goddamn shit and uh you know we will have to deal with that here uh let me just make sure that that is set correctly at bryson and then the other thing that we have to do is deal with the lime train now for some of you who may be new to the channel or maybe tuning just in for the first time what the heck is the lime train well, the Lime Train is a gift from that sneaky son of a you-know-what, the General. And what did the General do? We bought a brand new diesel locomotive. Where the hell am I? There it is. And inside one of the bays of this roundhouse is our brand new GP9, number 6969. Yes, we are a child. But we have our diesel which continues to be renamed the Lime Train by General whenever he hops on. He's currently not on, but we need to uh, figure out what to do with this engine since we just bought it. And I think the answer is we'll have a westbound freight for it sooner rather than later. So we're going to let it just rest here. We've got a couple other locomotives also just hanging out in the roundhouse over here at Dillsboro. But the main thing we need to get to is this long set of cars, which is all going down towards East Silva. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get that rolling here. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, it's him, the one, the only, Midland! Hello. Wait, hold on. The one, the only... Midland! Hello! <laughs> it's the best I can do. <laughs> best you can do on short notice. Yes. So, yes, we need to figure out what to do with the lime train. Lime train? Lime train. We have the banana train. Now, General wants to have the lime train, but General's not here at the moment. So, we may be General, safe from the General's lime chain shenanigans. So you should just crash the lime train into the coconut train. Nope, we renamed that train. It's no longer the coconut train. Well then. But, uh, yes, for those who are wondering, I just had dinner with Midland. You did. Yes, it's oh, like we actually know each other happened. in real life. What is this real life? Or is this just fantasy? Are we caught in a landslide? No escape from reality? Anyways, yeah, we gotta figure out what to do with the lime train. Whether it's gonna be a heavy freight locomotive, whether it's going to, uh, you know, do passenger stuff, because why not? It'd be kind of funny. We could be like the Hebrew Valley Railroad with their, uh, whoa. Oh, there you go. Whoa! Okay. Lag. Lag. All right, there we go. Lag. Yes. But yeah. Lag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lag. So Midland and I are plotting, and we're coming up with some fun uh, video ideas for you all. So, uh, yeah, you know. You have stuff to look forward to, whether you like it or not. Uh, I'm also genuinely curious if people have had a chance to see the 
the video that came out earlier today, and I'm, I know I sound like I'm beating a dead horse here, um, but I'm trying to figure out new videos for the channel, stuff that's not just Railroader or Lethal Company. Obviously, I know that most of my audience here, you like trains, kind of like you like jazz. Um, but, uh, you know, I figure, hey, we can try a few new series. And one that I did re-download was Railroads Online. And I know for some people, they're on Camp Railroads Online. Some people are on Camp COS. Some people love the game. Some people aren't as big a fan. Uh, but, you know, they do have that new Alaska map theoretically coming out soon. So I figured I would give it a shot and just, uh, you know, try out the game out again. So let me know what you think of the video. If you haven't had a chance yet, watch it. Let me know uh, if that's something you'd like to see continued. I will let you know, and you all get the first uh, kind of hears of this. I'm hoping either after the stream today or sometime in the next few days to also uh, record some episodes of Railroad uh, Corporation, which uh, I think is going to be the closest I get to recording Railroad Tycoon 2, because I can't get 2 or 3 to really work. 2, because of the aspect ratio and recording it on my monitor, uh, doesn't seem to work too well. Railroad Tycoon 3 is just buggy as hell. And to be frank, I played a lot more of Railroad Tycoon 2, and I only played the Central Pacific level on Railroad Tycoon 3. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, so I'm smart. Well, I'm here with the 7, so I'm going to deal with the 7. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, we do have an interchange drop in about an hour, so that'll give us plenty to do. Um over here because we've got to also switch out some cordwood we've got a few more cars down at Dillsboro we should grab and then by the time we have the interchange change over here we'll have a lot more cars also heading um, heading west there's also a number of cars that need to head east but I'm trying to get all the cars that are down here at least or close by to go to the interchange yeah Bandit I feel your pain I just couldn't get OBS and uh and Railroad Tycoon 2 to work. So, if anyone has any solutions, let me know. But, uh, you know, I love that game. So, who knows? I also do have other stuff. Like, I've played Minecraft. I don't know if this. I don't really want to play Minecraft for something online like this. Because I find it gets kind of stale after a bit. Minecraft can get very boring very quickly. But I do have, you know, another thing that Midland and I have talked about, we both own, um, like, Train Simulator Classics, and so maybe there's some fun that we could do in that. Yes, it's a single-player game, but we have ideas. So uh, stay tuned for, for that. Boy, do we have ideas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, half of dinner tonight was us scheming and thinking yeah. of what we could do for you guys, because we love you guys. Yes. And, uh, our audience. you know, we figured, uh, we why not do some fun stuff? Speaking of the audience, Midland will be streaming tomorrow from 4 to 7. Oh my god! More fun times on the QNS. Now that the QNS is basically to a point where it functions the way I want it. In theory. In theory. Keep part of that being in theory. Yes. So, you know, definitely let me know in the um, in the chat here if there are specific games that you personally would like to see either Midland or me play. Uh, or if there are certain challenges you might want to see in the games that we're currently playing or, you know, anything else. We are, you know, trying out a whole bunch of stuff. There's my character model, by the way, in case anyone cared. It's currently just standing at Wilmont, ominously looking at the train. It's standing at Wilmont, menacingly. Pretty much. So, yeah. And looks like that's going to keep moving here. And we're going to stop this train. Boop right there, which will take care of that. Looks like number eight is also rolling into Bryson right now. Oh, it just stopped in Bryson. He's got plenty of coal and water. Bryson Roney. Yes. 
So we'll see how much money we get. We have been paying down the debt up even in like the 15 minutes I've had the session open just because of getting it prepped. Um, you know, I've paid down two grand in debt, but that was mainly because of passenger trains that were very heavily loaded. So. Very heavy. The passenger trains were doing passengers? passengers yes, I know it's hard to believe. I know. Also, Random Snake, uh, face reveal probably not going to be on the cards. Um, neither is Cards Against Humanity. That will get us instantly demonetized or destroy any hope of monetization ever. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to get monetized. Midland's already monetized. We can't do that to our baby boy just yet. Maybe someday. Maybe. But, uh, not immediately at least, so... Alright, so that'll get that train moving. And there should be um, this stuff at Hemingway. E yes. And the one at Alarca yeah. Junction's always there. So we'll see what happens with that. Alright, train, get out of here. Make me money. Make the suffering Southern proud. Meanwhile, back with the banana train. Um, so we'll keep moving with the banana train here. And then we'll probably get the lime train out. Maybe we will rename it the lime train. Maybe General will be surprised when he gets in. Maybe we'll give in to him and actually have it be the lime train. Or maybe I'll still be my usual self and fight to have <laughs> no lime train. We've kind of accepted that the banana train is here to stay. The banana train's kind of here to stay. Yeah. Like, whether we like it or not, it is here to stay. But, yeah. We are, uh... But, yeah, but yes, and Shock and... are angry and I know each other in real life. Yes. We, we, we see each other in the world. And not just on the virtual world. Exactly. A.K.A. Angry just puts up with my existence. My lawyers have asked me not to answer that question under pain of torture. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. Under pain of legal precedent? Yes. So, yeah. Uh, Random Snake, I'm still figuring out railroad, uh, Railroads Online. Because if you watch the episode, I kind of was figuring out how to replay the game after not playing it for like several months um i know that some people in the friend group still have it installed some people have uninstalled it um i will say flat out i think um century of steam is going to blow that game way out of the water i think century of steam is going to blow railroader out of the water um and i even though i am not a member of studio 346 i am a member of their patreon and i will say that what they've been putting out looks incredible and I'm very excited to see what happens with it. And I would encourage you people, if you uh, are looking for a uh, a new train game to look forward to, that's going to be the one to do. Because regardless of whether you like Narrow Gauge, it's going to be, or at least it looks like it's going to be one of, if not the best and most immersive um, train games out there. So... You know, I am very much looking forward to that. Um, Railroads Online was the way that a lot of the people in our friend group have met. And, you know, for a while it was really fun, but it was always buggy. And it feels like some of the updates they've been pushing out are more of like, hey, look, it pretty. And not um, like fixing issues or they make things worse over time. So... Yeah. You know, like, if you watch the video, uh, the UI that they have for driving trains now is terrible. Oh, it's... I I don't even... Yeah, I've seen pictures of it. I haven't... So I'm one of the people who's uninstalled RO. And mainly because Railroader now exists. And it's, I've seen the pictures of all the updates afterwards, and I'm just like, why? Yeah, like, if they actually improve things, I don't think we'd be as harsh of a critic of yeah. them. But, 
like there's the UI updates for driving trains, not great. The menus are kind of borked if you saw. Um, they need to go back to Pine Valley and add in where the stock location should be of the three or four industries they've added since then. You know, there's a lot of customization that can be done, but it sometimes feels like the customization options that are there are not fantastic. So, I don't know. I will... I mean, so far, everyone who's watched this seems to have enjoyed it. So if you guys want us or want me to continue playing it, I will. Um, I can't promise that other people will. I'll probably mainly keep it a single-player run, just because, at least on that side, it'll be stable. Because whenever we've done online sessions, it's kind of hit or miss. It might work for a little bit, and then it becomes popcorn-y all over the place. Um, you know, there's there's a lot that could happen. That most of it is not great for multiplayer. Meanwhile, Railroader is really good at multiplayer, and I give full credit to the team there for making a stable online, you know, multiplayer train game. Is it perfect? No. You know, I know other people have expressed problems with the models, and, you know, some have had other things, but um, at the end of the day... It's the best multiplayer train game on the market right now. Not that there's a lot to choose from, but, you know, it's what my friends play. It's what I like to play. You know, if I have a long day at work, my thought is great. I'll come home and play Railroader. And whether I stream that or not, it's like my my nice relaxation, you know, come to enjoy it game. So, you know, that's what I hope it'll continue to be. And, uh, you know, we'll see otherwise. Exactly. Calm, relaxation. Yep. And I will say, um, the main reason I did re-download um, Railroads Online 2, I've said it before, I will say it again, I love the White Pass and Yukon. You know, I am very fortunate to be a member of the Friends of the East Broad Top, so I'm very fortunate to hang out with some of those guys and help them out. But if I lived any closer to Alaska, you bet your sweet ass I would be, you know, trying to do something with them because the White Pass is A, a rail line that probably should have never been built. Like, I understand why it was built, but the steenery is so rugged. And the terrain is so unforgiving. And the equipment's very interesting because you have a whole varied thing with it. Um, so, And I'm trying to model it in G-scale in real life. Um, so I have had the fortune of riding it once, and I really want to go back. So long story short, I really like the White Pass and Yukon. And when they put out the map for... Um, or they announced that they would have a new Alaska map... I was like, oh, me likey. Me me want play. Me create fake white pass. You know, so. And then, you know, kind of hope they don't entirely, completely, totally butcher it. Yeah. I mean, do I have high hopes? Eh. But, um, you know, I would like to see what it turns out to be. So, you can probably bet that the day that they announce that, I'll probably either stream playing it or upload an episode or two. The other thing I do have in Railroads Online, believe it or not, uh, Midland, I still have all the old saves. Oh, really? For some of the maps that we built. So I was definitely more of a map builder in Railroads Online. Um, and... I tried to be as close to realistic as I could. I mean, it's a video game. You're not going to get super close, but, um, you know, there was a lot that can be done in that game, which is one of the reasons why we played it so often. Um, so I actually created an East Broad Top map in Railroads Online, and I used the buildings in game to build the Orbizonia yard, and it actually didn't turn out half bad. It turned out pretty good. Yeah. It wasn't perfect by any means, but it wasn't half bad. 
Um, and then I also have other routes that are like um, moved industries where we would have crazy things like switchbacks and um, all sorts of crazy no, things. Nothing but switchbacks. Hey, those before. railroads were beautiful and you know it. No, they were great. I'm not saying they weren't. They were great. They were just a pain to get up the side of a mountain. Look, they were made because switchback. What more do you want? So, wait, switchback? No, you mean branch lines. Yes, exactly. Uh, there's also a joke in my uh, friend group that a branch line, like we would sometimes have spurs and stuff that really, really would be like switchbacks and shit. Um, but we'd always joke that, no, it's not a... You know, it's not a switchback, it's a branch line. You know, because switchbacks imply logging, and depending on who you are, logging equals bad. Um, because Shay. And those people do not, have not embraced the beauty of Shay. That is all I will say. So... Anyways, one of the... Th um, <laughs> I started monologuing, damn it. Uh, but, no, I'm thinking about um, having maybe, like, a showcase series where I can take people to, um, you know, one of those maps and say, hey, today we're going to play a little bit on this map and explain how it was built, the buildings, you know, kind of show off, run a few trains, that sort of thing. So, you know, again, if that sounds like something you'd like to see, because I've built some crazy-ass maps... You know, just let me know. And we can definitely do that. Um, so, uh, oh, and uh, Random Snick, asking to apply to the Friends of the East Broadtop. Uh, just go on their website, febt.org. That has more information on there. Uh, the beautiful thing about the Friends is no matter your skill level, no matter if you're a seasoned railroader or someone who has zero experience, they will help you and get you started. They do have a work weekend. I believe this upcoming weekend um yeah. so you can learn about that and for those who may be under 18 um uh, i believe they're looking at launching a young adult program for i think 13 to 17 year olds or 14 to 17 year olds sometime this year again they'll have more information on their website so i would definitely go and check them out um but yeah i can't speak highly enough of the friends that he's brought top and uh if you've not been following the EBD, uh, the friends have a great resource to share that information. Obviously, the foundation who runs the railroad does too. But, um, you know, they've been doing God's work with track work and a whole bunch of other stuff alongside the EBT staff. So go check out that stuff. Yes, go check out that stuff. As many people know, I'm also a member of the friends, and I, I very much frequent the work weekends. Um, and yeah, just come do the thing. Come do the thing. As, as the one, the only, the high says, come do the thing. Go do the thing. Yeah, and if there is, uh, and if you're not anywhere close to the EBT, but there's a tourist railroad or a railroad museum or something to that effect near you, the best way to get involved with railroading is to volunteer, go do the thing, get to know the people. And more often than not, they will be the ones who will help you and will encourage you. And even if you have zero experience, you know, they may give you an opportunity to learn and grow and maybe do something cool with it. Yes. They're, they're, the things I've learned with the FEBT and just being a part of the organization and helping out, it's has been not only mind-blowing, but genuinely skill building yes and you get a good group of friends out of it too exactly so you get a whole group of new friends to hang out with you get to enjoy trains with other people you get to enjoy trains of any type standard gauge narrow gauge locking not logging etc so meanwhile the banana train is now at silva and we're heading east and uh, Bandit, I have yet to get up to Sumter. I do want to get up there at some point. I am hoping that my musical group may have a tour of the West Coast sometime this year or next year. And if that's the case, then um, last time we were there, we played in Bend, Oregon at a theater. And I'm hoping that Bend is kind of near Sumter or McEwen. 
but um, you know, it's on the list of I would love to go there. Um, just hasn't worked out yet. Okay, so we're going to roll into the East Silva interchange area and the paperboard. Looks like we had a number of cars to pick up already. Jesus, how much coal does this thing go through? The paperboard? Yeah, like seriously, it's like you put a load of coal cars down and like 10 minutes later they're all unloaded. Like, it's kind of scary impressive. Okay, so that one also needs to come out. We can go grab that while we're here. Uh, let's actually... Yeah, I would say let's go ahead. We'll start building the train with more of the interchange stuff. Then we'll go ahead and take care of all of the cordwood down here. I'm literally waiting on 1.2 logs to unload. Gotta love 1.2 logs. Okay. Because once that happens, I can run another string of cars up the mountain and come back down and deal with all the interchange stuff here at Whittier. And then you'll have cars to pick up when you're returning from Bryson. Well, there you go. Oh, money! Let's pay down the debt. We're at 52. Yes, Rockstar, uh, I, I will admit I probably should have an actual schedule for when I decide to stream because uh, I know people have asked like when I will be streaming I try to stream like probably three nights a week I think that's a good number you know the funny thing is I try to keep a schedule and then the schedule keeps getting thrown out the window and that's why I don't usually have a schedule it's more of a what do I need to get done after work today and then if my schedule allows for it then absolutely I will stream and like tonight, uh, you know, I knew I was going to meet Midland for dinner, uh, so I got done with work, and then we got talking about it, and that kind of inspired me, like, you know what, we're going to we're gonna do this tonight. So, you know, but I know that tomorrow I've got plans. Saturday, most likely not going to stream. Sunday's a maybe, but I, I don't know. It's one of those things where... <laughs> I've got a lot coming up that I'm, I know that I have to, to do, but it's going to, like, I have flexibility to do fun stuff between now and then. Plus, I am really trying to get to the 500 subscriber mark, because obviously then we can have fun stuff. Like, you can get cool emojis, or um, when we do launch our Discord surfer, which is coming very soon, hint, hint. Yeah. Uh, you know, we might have some fun stuff or exclusive stuff for people who are channel members and other things. So, you know, I'm hoping that we can do that, build a community together with it. Um, you know, we'll uh, we'll kind of see as things grow and things occur. So I do want to get to that point. We're generals here. Motherfucker. Well, well, well. If it isn't what the man with the pastrami. Yourself, General? Hold up, you both talked at the same time. What, what? I said what, what in the butt? What do you have to say for yourself, General? Yeah, General. Uh, the voices told me to do it. You know, that actually explains a lot. That does explain. So what I miss. So we just got started not too long ago. The banana train's currently switching out at East Silva. Um, mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out what to do with the lime train. It, it was no longer the lime train. I did actually change it back. I think. I don't think I turned the color back, but 
The fact that you're still calling it the Lime Train, though. Don't let too many really ideas feel. get in that little head of yours. Tell me how you really feel, Angry. Well... <sighs> you know... Sometimes you just have to accept it. When a mother Lime Train and a daddy love train... Lime Train... I can't even make the jokes. <laughs> God damn. I mean, you're a joke, but... Whoa! Did you hear that, Chad? He called me a joke. You're a funny guy. <laughs> that was my uh, best attempt at a lame laughter. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> uh, also, when are we going to do the uh, hot shot train? You know... I keep meaning to do that, but that means I have to hop over to single player and do it. So I would say either sometime today during the episode, maybe I'll do that quickly, or at least once we get the um, interchange taken care of today, because we remember we have that second drop happening in about an hour. Mm -hmm. Then we can get the Hot Shot Express. That way Kitty R won't be mad that uh, we've taken her sweet Atlantic off that of... Uh, that line... Yeah. Sideline the Atlantic. Well, it all comes down to the amount of water that the the engines can hold. The um, you know, the sad thing is the Atlantic only has seventy five hundred gallons. Mm -hmm. It also um, just needs more water in general. Meanwhile, excuse me. Meanwhile, the Pacific has a lot more capacity, so we can do more runs without having to fill it up. <laughs> So, you know. I mean, <clears throat> even then, the Atlantic did serve, has served faithfully on the railroads pretty much since, uh, well, since we got it. Yeah. What was it, like the third or fourth locomotive we got? Because uh, we had the two starters, and then we the got the switcher. The 060. Yeah. And then we got the Atlantic. Yeah, and then after that, everything had... kind of exploded. Yeah, I think we had the 10-wheeler running the passenger train up until that point, And then the Atlantic kind of just took over for it. So you're saying we should just scrap the Atlantic? No. I don't know if Kitty Ara will allow us. Yeah. Kitty Ara may kill us. Midland. She, she's already angry enough at Midland for not even having an Atlantic. I think she would genuinely... Just unsubscribe. Smite. Stop watching right right then and there. Yeah, just just the just smite. I think Kitty R would go uh, full uh, murder us like she would find our addresses in real life and be like, This is what you get for the Atlantic. Atlantic, you will be avenged. avenged. Hello, my name is Kitty Ara. You killed my Atlantic. Prepare, Prepare to, to die. die. Exactly. Well, Kitty R is not denying it, so uh, that is our answer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And hey there, Mario. Wait. Oh, random snake. Two more years, and you'll be able to volunteer at the EBT? Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Yes. Alright, come on, you stupid banana train. How many train. gallons of fuel does the Jeep hold? Like 1,100, I think. Yeah, that's a lot. It's like, I think we would actually hard. have to order a tank car for the amount of fuel. Okay, so let me ask a follow-up question. Should I fill it up? Because it's at 440. Go ahead and fill it up, and then if we need to order a tank car, we can order a tank car. Okay. Yeah, because it's at 546 gallons right now, so it's about a half a tank. Okay. Yeah, I would say once you, if you're in the Lime Train, go ahead and uh, fill her up, get her ready, and then head down to uh, East Silva, because by the time that you get that done and head down, it might be time for the next uh, next interchange drop, and you can go ahead and take cars over to places. All right. Uh, okay, 
if that goes in there, nope, I guess it just goes straight to the side of the tank. Um, yeah, pretty much. Actually, uh, is there something else I have to do here? Um, not... As, as in, like, switching out stuff in the yard, or... No, I mean, like, in terms of actually getting the thing to fill. No, you literally just click it and it'll then start fueling. Huh, I don't think we have any diesel fuel. <laughs> what? It's not fuel, it's not fueling. No, you have to get it, like, in the right spot. There's a... Like there the should be, like, red a red thing? circle on the tank. Oh, the red circles. Yeah, you have to move it like a hair. Uh, I have to... Yeah. Okay, so I have to actually line it up. Yep. It kind of just phases through. That's cool, I guess. Okay, yeah, now it's better. There it goes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get really, the other couple of cars really over here. I need I need whatever gas pump this is at my local gas stations ASAP. It's like pumping three gallons a second. Nice. That'd be one hell of a way to fill a, uh, a tank, that's for sure. Yeah, just like, you just pretty much just, and you're done. I'm glad you had that experience. Just then you're done. Hey. I mean, hey, sometimes that's all you need. Hey. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous in here. All right. Meanwhile, let me just double check. I How's agree, the energy Kitty Ara. Uh, oh, it's completely Kitty clear. Ara. Perfect. Indigo Montoya is practicing perfect conversation with a stranger. He, he He's the guy we all need to inspire to be. Don't you two agree as well? I would agree. Diesel is expensive, yeah. But it also lasts hell of a long time. Yeah. That said, we will still continue to use number one, our faithful chunk of a switcher down here. Just the, the banana train was more convenient. Plus, I know how much people love the banana train. And by love, I mean genuine love, except for, I think, Bandon, who does not like the banana train. Such heresy. Look, just because they're wrong... Actually, I've got nothing else to go with this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab those couple of power cars from here. I'm really surprised that these couple of tannery cars with leather have not filled up yet. But, you know. Also, speaking of, let's just take a quick look. So, Parsons Tannery, what if we're full? Silva Paperboard, we're full. Barker's Creek oil burners? Has plenty of stuff. I don't know if they're ever going to put oil burners in the game. They've never discussed it, as far as I'm aware. Well, I Sawmills mean, full. As far as I know, no oil burners ever made it to the Bryson branch, with good reason. As did like, is that's the case with like three quarters of the engines on the t on the on the buy list, though. Well, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, yeah, but I don't know if they would. Considering they have all the infrastructure in place for cooling towers, water tower, or cooling towers and diesel fuel towers, yeah. I don't think they would add oiler, oiling towers. Yeah, I mean, it's not wrong. like we're in California and you're running, like, Southern Pacific that did oil and all that. Yeah, I mean, the, the Southern historically was just purely coal burners. Um, I don't think they had a single oil burner, if, I, if I'm wrong. I think you're sure correct. correct me. Yeah. Um, Cause I, I, think I don't they think they had. A, from... I don't think they had oil burners in service. There is a southern consolidation that does burn oil. Um, that I think was a post southern conversion. Yeah, I think that was that was definitely post southern. Um, but if they wanted to do it, there is, in a sense, there is precedent, historical precedent. Like, yeah. 
but not like amazing precedent. If that makes sense. I I don't. That's like grasping at straws at that point, though. I don't know if that would truly qualify. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't think that it would. Hey, one. I, mean, I just I I don't think it's. I genuinely don't think it's gonna happen just because of where it's set and the time period it's set at because i don't think uh i don't really think any of the e correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think any of the east coast railroads burn oil if they did one's not popping Ooh. off the top of my head because of the appalachians there was enough coal yeah i mean because that was like the big deal that was the whole reason why there were a lot of uh, railroads and small narrow gauge railroads and stuff like that that popped up in the Appala Appalachians, Appalachians, whatever you want to call it, was because of the massive coal deposits. Like, that was the one of the main reasons. That was, like, one of the main reasons why the Tweetsie existed and the EBT existed. And the Bensie. And, and the Bensie. insert railroad here. Yeah, insert your favorite railroad, your favorite East Coast railroad near the mountains here. Yeah. I don't know if this is Southern Green, but I think I got it fairly close. Yeah. I know, because there were some Midwestern railroads that, like, I know Texas railroads, went. some of them ran on oil, but that's because, again, you had... I, it really just came down to what natural resource was available to you. Because obviously when they started, it would have been wood or coal because of whatever was available. And then obviously with the BTUs of coal, excuse me, being so much better than wood, if they had access to coal, they would just burn coal. And then from there, if you had oil instead... You would do oil. It was, again, whatever was cheapest for you to get. Because you obviously don't want to run long trains in of your fuel source. You'd rather have it locally available. I mean, like, even the UP with the big boys, those were coal burners. And I think they only got converted to oil in the tourist In preservation, area. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I think there was actually a record of, like, wasn't there, like, a, an account of a big boy sitting there for so long that they ran out of fuel, so they just started burning whatever they could get their hands on? I don't think you're like wrong. They were, like, they started burning, like, furniture and stuff to keep the fire up. Maybe? I'd, I'd like to say I've heard of a story like that before, but I, I cannot remember the... I cannot remember the exact details of it. Uh, Appalachia does have good coal. Um, RNN can still run coal. Yeah, there's still plenty of coal being moved yeah. by train. They had oil stands in, like, out west. <clears throat> and yeah, exactly. The, Wherever the, the resource yeah. was available, if they found oil in the desert, guess what your trains were going to run on? Oil. Yeah. But, like, that's, like, a fun fact. There's still tons of coal in the areas where they were mining it from like uh narrow gauge railroads like the Tweetsie and the ebt it's just no one's gone to actually go access it yet or it's not economic to access it yeah because of course before you know when there weren't necessarily a lot of regulations and labor was cheap you know you just throw them in at the problem exactly and today, we obviously know th some of the dangers of coal mining and, you know, preserving, you know, human lives and stuff. Do I hear diesel? Do I hear Perhaps. a diesel other than mine? Yes, I do.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to say hello to the one, the only. Oh, it doesn't say the lime train. I told you I changed it back. I thought you wanted it changed back. Chat, should I he change look. it back? Should it be the lime chain, or should it just be suffering seller? Let us know in the, t in the chat here. Because we do have the banana train. I, yeah. I did change the uh, the new Pacific back to regular sub suffer and southern as well, not the. Uh, oh, I know. Train. I I made sure that 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 one I will not stand for, sir. Good sir, I shall not stand for this dishonor. Uh, where do I need to go? Because right now I'm lined into the back end of a whole bunch of cordwood cars. So. I am currently grabbing the last of, I would say, run around that string, but don't couple onto it just yet. Because what I'll do is I'll grab them, and um, I'm going to grab the stuff that's going to the interchange and drop them off. If you then want to hop onto the cordwood and then switch that out, so we can at least then take a set over to uh, Dillsboro so, for the next westbound train. So wait, does that mean you want me to, so you want me to go around to the front of the train? You're going to grab the cars off the front of the train that go to the interchange. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, I see what we're doing here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Logic Where? and Where planning. The oh, there's the banana train. Where banana? There banana. Wow. People are saying the banana train is unique. So we don't the need a copycat. Train. The banana train is unique. So, yeah, yeah. I mostly did that as a joke, but. Or, like, the lime train. I figured it wouldn't stick, but I didn't know how people would feel. Did you actually put it to a vote, or is it just. It's just out there for people to comment on. <laughs> it's just out there. Yeah. It's looking like we're getting mixed results. Some people don't know if they want the lime in the coconut or not. And then you shake it all up? Yeah. Man, now people are chiming in. There's a lot more votes for the lime train now. Maybe we will put it to an actual vote here. Because I think I'd we need to have a... Uh, there's enough... Neon green. Oh, God. I mean, I was originally going to do that. <laughs> But I figured the su the actual like southern green that we already have a passenger set colored would kind of fit better. Okay. By the way, you're lined into the. Uh, you're lined into okay. the. Okay. Uh, the poll is officially up. So put your answers in the poll. And maybe we will abide. <laughs> Both for, full send. For the sake of, for the, for the sake of uh, neutral neutralism, I will not vote. Neither will I. Because I also don't think I can vote if I put out the poll. I, however, have no such qualms. Ma -ha -ha. I love how it's like almost split down the middle. Like, it keeps, like, switching back and forth. Oh, no, I just closed the poll. No. Uh, how do I open the poll back? Can I open the poll back? I don't know. I'm on the other end of this problem, so, you know, I don't know. But you're gonna have to tell me the, uh... You're gonna have to tell me the results, because I can't see it. Oh, I can see the results. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go ahead and cut off those cars. Let's get those cars off our train. Whoa! All right, whoever wanted lime green, there it is. <laughs> Embrace your decision. You wanted it. You wanted the content. We're bringing you the content. 
Behold the monument to your sins. <laughs> God damn. Frickin' hell. With the consequences of your own actions. Yeah, look at you, chat. This is what you wanted. Uh, it's such an ugly color. I will I say the orange does not work with that. No, it doesn't. It has really to be like doesn't. a white or a black or something. Yeah. Well, ah! I can make it worse. I can make it like a... Look at that. That... Look at that. That is terrifying. <laughs> Dear Lord. That's like glowing. That's like radioactive. <laughs> okay, I'm going... I'm just staying away from that. I need to get, actually get my train up this incline here. <laughs> God. Like... Like... Glowing. I don't like the fact that I can still see it glowing from this distance away. <laughs> Have a whole fruit basket. Kind of looks like Illinois Terminal. Uh, getting mixed. Someone said they prefer. Uh, Rockstar said they prefer the maroon. I still prefer the maroon and gold, but. Well. It's the lime train. We must embrace it. Well, we're gonna we keep can, the we're gonna keep what? the pull up for a little while longer because I know some people may be discovering because our our numbers are, are going up a bit on youtube right now so we have to uh to the uh, southern green by the way okay so you, i don't assault your eyes with subliminal <laughs> messages yeah uh more lime hmm have god a we don't need more lime don't Although it is appearing that the majority of the train want the lime, or majority of the chat want the lime train. Need a Corona train so we can have lime and Corona. I, no. <laughs> well, here's what I would say, so they say is like, if on like on the steam locomotives, if they had like the name under the number, yeah, then we could easily have the lime train or the coconut train or the whatever. And it still has the road name on it. Yeah. But obviously we have not been given that opportunity. Um, with the the modders have not done that yet. Well, even I, I was actually going to do that with the uh, New Pacific, but I couldn't find the option for it. I don't know if my locomotive you name is your mod. busted. Yeah. I haven't updated my mods recently. Right, well, so. well, have you verified files? I have not... To be honest with you, I haven't touched the mod since the last time I touched the mod was when uh, you guys dropped the uh, pack for me. But I don't, because I actually don't know where to get the actual file pack for We have our sources. I know you have your sources, but you're my sources, and my sources are failing me. Well, that'll show you to trust your sources. How dare you trust your sources? I feel conflicted right now, because right now I'm technically running it in reverse, but it's what I consider forward. Hey, we got money, by the way. Oh, we never set off those uh, passenger trains. They've been sitting at Bryson. So they maybe have a whole lot of people on them. With our two beautiful Pacifics. That one's got plenty of water. Also, what's this about That one's got plenty of water. What's this about you having a new Railroads Online experience? Oh, you found that, did you? Yeah. So... Once upon a time, there was an angry barnacle. He was so angry that everyone angried the angry. Makes sense. But uh, why wasn't I invited? I kind of did it as a spur-of-the-moment thing. Aha, uh -huh. a likely story. What also, it what looks it like, like uh, we've got some cars that are ready to go to the interchange at Bryson, and then also at Bryson, there's a whole bunch of Appalachian hardwood cars that need to be switched out. Okay. It's also, not super, it like I just the, noticed it. The Jeep does not have as much get up and go as the uh, banana train. We still need a pair. 
of, of Jeeps? Yeah. Well, you see, Jeeps cost money. Yes. And right they now, the railroad is still 50000 in debt. That would yes, By no, buying no, another no. Jeep, that would put me 34000 more in debt. What's your point? Uh, I learned my lesson from last time, and I don't wish to repeat it. Did you? Yes. Do you know how long it took took to pay off a hundred and thirty thousand of debt? Well, I mean, to be fair, it made great content, and you had a contest and everything. I mean, you're not wrong. But you just gotta keep people in suspense. In suspenders, also, hi, Scotty. All of the suspense. Yeah. Yes. Welcome, Scotty, to the Suffering Southern. Oh, uh, what are we suffering tonight? Uh, suffering whether we need to change our new GP9 to be the Lime Train or not. I support this motion. Let's change it back oh, to boy. the Lime Train? I mean, you've got what the Banana right Train. Why not the lime train? What have I done? I've started a movement. A revolution. If only we had if only we had a station called Coconut. The lime into coconut. Yeah. Yeah. That'll shake yeah. it all up. I don't don't worry, Angry. I saw your video about what happened to the banana train, so Yeah. Is less borked now. Banana trains at 100, percent so the banana train's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful banana, beautiful big banana. Yes. There's a great big beautiful banana rolling down the tracks at breakneck speed. Name the song. I was just uh, parodying. I think I know what it is, but I don't remember the name. I swear I've heard that tune before, but I can't place where from. All right, so if you've ever been to Walt Disney World, uh, it's the Carousel of Progress. It's their song, There's a Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow. Um, so. Um, mm -hmm, yes. Was that you honking, or was that Yes, that honking? was me honking. Speed. Speed slow down. Slow down. That'll buff out. Hmm. Hmm. See, I can't decide whether to blow blow twice for going short hood or blow twice for going long hood. Well, you can make that distortion. 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 Yes. Okay? Yes, Rockstar, thank you for the, for the support. Are you having a strong? Uh, maybe. So, we got the Jeep switching out cordwood. We've collected all of the mother goddamn truck of a nutsack. Oh, you also yeah. had a question from uh, Random Snake. How many locomotives are still needing restoring at the EVZ? Yes. <laughs> all of them? They all that lived one? very hard lives. And Bring I believe number 16 back. is currently down for her FRA-mandated uh, annual inspection. But all of the locomotives need some sort of work. Bring 18 back. No. Yes. 
Okay, okay, but hear me out. What if we built a 19? No, just skip 19 and go straight to 20. Oh man, yeah, everybody will always be confused. Like, wait a minute. I will balk both of you from this conversation. No, Midland, we're getting a northern. It's gonna be great. No, we need a melee. That wasn't very nice. Hey, I warned you. I'm the revolutionizing the railroad, Midland. That's why. A boost. It's that's admin a boost. A boost. Uh. Well, you see, that's the thing. We could do a 19 as a northern, and then a 20 as a Malay. What if we just take se what if we just take seventeen and eighteen and combine them to make the melee, and then we just number it thirty-five? Well, that would be removing historical locomotives. Y'all are okay. Think, so wait, actually, I got a better idea. So what we gotta do is we gotta find we gotta get one of those three foot gauge shays that are just kind of sitting over there and need a restoration on like the west coast and well you see that's there. actually not the um, worst idea that's not the worst idea because for or those you... who know the east broadtop had another railroad operate over a portion of its tracks the McKelvey brothers lumber operation and um they're the ones who built well actually the east broadtop built the timber transfer for them in mountain union which was the um gantry crane that lifted logs off of narrow gauge cars and onto standard gauge cars, but then was repurposed by the EBT after that railroad went under um, to lift up standard gauge cars, put narrow gauge wheels under them. But there were, at one point, narrow three-foot gauge shays running up and down the hills alongside EBT tracks. And I believe the railroad still owns the Boer branch, which was part of the track that McKelvey ran on. Which allegedly, though, the uh, last remaining McKelvey Shea is somewhere in the jungle in Brazil, right? Maybe. So if you know anyone in Brazil who can go look for a random three-foot gauge Shea... Just if somebody out in a palm somewhere. Uh, our bells are synced. I don't like it. You're getting bell in stereo. Bells, bells, bell. bells, bells. I've got I've bells of steel. Of the bells. Ding, ding, ding. I've ding. had it with the bells. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Banana oh man. Okay. Real talk though, the green train. The green train. Green train. It green is completely train. full. Again. Leaving Bryson. And it has 64 people to pick up to go the opposite direction. Well, that simply means you need to buy more passenger cars. Or we need to get the, uh, the hotshot passenger and run that. a whole bunch of stuff to uh, the other cordwood cars. Whoops. Huh. 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 Hey. Huh. 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 Sounds like Angry just learned something interesting. I learned that mashed potatoes, gravy, and bananas do not go well together. That's right, they don't. Hey, uh, Angry, we got a question for you in the streaming channel, PC. 
What happened to 18? It's just a very tired locomotive. It needs a lot of work if it's ever to come back into service. They ran it into the dirt, didn't they? Literally. More or less. Like, from what I've heard, the inside of the firebox looks like chicken scratch. No, Just... I mean, like, didn't, didn't like, in the last days of service, it actually came off the tracks, like, twice? Uh, I'm not sure about that. But I'm not the one who would know that answer. Resident ET, EBT Foamer, what are your comments? That's you, Midland. Oh no, we've stunned him. He's so quiet. <laughs> uh, I comment to R, uh, let's enjoy what we have. Also, uh, here's a question for everyone in the uh, in the chat in the video that is watching. Um, what would you think about a all day angry ragtimer streamathon sometime in the next two or three weeks? It's basi basically it's it's a hopeful way for us to get more subscribers to come check out the channel. We'd have a schedule of like games and break periods throughout the day. But, like, starting at, let's say, 9 or 10 a.m. Eastern, we would just run for, like, 12 hours with all sorts of games and, you know, again, occasional breaks for, like, food and stuff. Uh, but then also have goals, so that way, like, hey, if we hit 200 subscribers, we will do... Uh, hold on. Wow. Who is SimZam again? What's up? He's in the he's in the chat. I'm the guy from the valley. Hello, guy from the valley. Guy from the valley. Welcome to the suffering southern, where we all suffer together. I know. Uh, you you know me in a, as uh, the the radioactive. Ah. Guy. Yes, he is indeed radioactive. <laughs> That's fine. Radio I moved radio. Active. I played with radioactive stuff today. Excellent. Yeah. Fun, fun. But, uh, welcome to the Suffering Southern, where everyone suffers and I bring the Southern. God, you're making me miss South Carolina. Hey. Awesome duty station. Uh, what do you want me to do? Okay. Uh, so depending on what you want to do, um, we've got two AI passenger trains. We do need some switching work to be done at Bryson with number five. Um, so if you want to do that, you can. You can take over one of the AI passenger trains. We've got a switcher and a Jeep down at Silva Paperboard doing the switching because we're about to have another dump of uh, cars for interchange turnover. So we will also probably need to run multiple freights uh, west out of uh, Dillsboro here in the next half hour. Uh, I can either run a freight or do switching with five. I would say go ahead and do the switching with five first and then maybe bring, I think 734 or 90 is over in that roundhouse too. Bring one of them over here and grab a train. 734 over to Dillsboro? Yeah. Dillsboro, oh, I think you have to give me permissions. I can't move the turntable. Oh, that's true. You, you do need permissions. Permissions required. In Instructions right? unclear. Yes. Alright. Uh, do you have a switch list for what I'm doing with five? Uh, no, I don't, but I can put one together. Alright. Or just, you know, roughly tell me what to do. Uh, all the cars that are on the uh, storage tracks at Dillsboro need to go to, like, Appalachian Hardwood and all those, and then there's one or two cars to pick up. Uh, that are complete, ready to head back to the interchange. Oh, so you want me to just go switch Appalachian Hardwood and the Bryson Coaling Tower and then take a road engine to Dillsboro? Yes, please. Okay, I can do that. Wait a minute, what do you mean the J class is not public domain? Yeah, they trademarked it or something. What, really? Yeah. yeah the, the VMT trademarked it. Uh, of course they did. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure the Val... The, so, the va all of the Valley's engines have custom number boards, and I'm pretty sure the reason for that is because they trademarked the number boards, so you couldn't make reproductions of it. Really? Yeah, apparently one of our conductors got talked to because he was, like, 3D printing, like, uh, Valley Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. I, I, this is all hearsay. I don't actually know. But... Huh. I mean, I guess if you don't want someone making knockoff merch of your locomotives and railroad, I guess? I don't know. Hey guys, I'm figuring out Switchless. Switchless! I'm glad you did, because I have no fucking clue how they work in this game. I barely understand how they work in real life. I just spin a- I just throw a dice and pick where I put the cars. I play Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Yeah, that's- I got a car for the Silver Interchange. You want me to take that to Dillsboro with me with the road engine later? Yes, please. Okay. Uh. So now you have a switch list. So number five switcher, if you want to join that crew, it has that. So. Yay! All right, let me figure out how to do that as soon as I make the this hitch. Um. Is it a switch list or a switch pitch list? Whoa. I say as I am doing switching duties in a road engine. <laughs> Look. You are doing some interesting switching there, General. Don't worry about it. Switch list. There, How? So I think you have to join the crew for... Oh, I join the crew. So go, hit I, go to cruise, and then click the active number five switcher crew and ah. join it. There we go. Okay. And then if you have your switch and list, then... then... Okay. So, the only issue... Uh, can you get two cars at the Bryson Coaling Tower or just the one? You can put one at a time. Okay, but you, you can have just put there. it with the other string. You have one there with 26 tons in it already. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna leave that somewhere convenient. Cool. Or just put it in behind that one and you could swap them later. Cool. Yeah, uh, Angry, there is a method to my madness. You just need to sit back and uh, watch the beauty of my genius unfold. Beauty of something. Okay, oh, so I have all my sounds turned off. Eight is. Jesus, did anyone get off at, uh,. Oh, people did get off at Whittier. Cool. But they just filled up the green train again. Holy shit, how much? How big of a loan do you have? Don't worry about it. Alright. <laughs> is, is that the goal, to pay off your loan? Uh, it's one of the uh, current goals, yes. The, tr the true missed... millennial goal? Well, you missed the big one. We had over $130,000 in debt. Well, damn. We got... Then we got that paid down to zero, and then uh, we immediately took out 60 grand more in debt to buy a Pacific and a Jeep. Among other things. So among other things. Well, actually, you're probably going to need to take out more debt to buy your hotshot passenger train. Yes, but we probably won't do that tonight. We'll do that soonish, but uh, not quite. Well, I didn't expect to do it tonight because you still have to go into single player to get the uh, mail. Yeah. Cars. You have to go into single player for the mail car? Yeah. Yeah, they aren't available in multiplayer. Well, yet. it's not mail, it's baggage cars, but. Well, yeah. Oh, uh, are they modded? No, they're, they're not, not modded. No. They're just in game, but. Like in no. sandbox mode only. Oh. Weird. For some reason. Yeah, I don't. I, I feel like it's really strange they just didn't do that. I got about half of what he just said. Anyone else catch that? I think he went to space. Well, it was Scotty that tracks. 
Oh, hey, Scotty, is there a big, like, live steam meet going on in Florida right now? Uh, yes. Okay. That would be why I, uh, I can't get a hold of God Charles, and I keep getting told yeah. he's in Florida. He'll get back to you. Weeks, too. I, I got none of that. Wait, who's in Florida? Your Dwayne Godshaw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They keep tomorrow for showing me. Uh, I just want to know where the fuck my drivers are. <laughs> okay. It's time for the, the thing to switch over. Let's see how what we get. Hey, I just noticed something. What? Every time the bell on the Jeep dings, it moves. Okay, we got more cars. Yeah, every time the clapper on the bell hits it, it actually moves. Interesting. Does the does the SW1 move? Uh, I have not taken a... I just, I just happened to notice it because I was looking at the, uh... I think it does, actually. Short and hood of the, uh... It does! Huh. It's like a nervous tick. Yeah, that's a neat little detail. Interesting. Okay. So, General, I will start switching out your uh, eastbound freight, westbound freight. Eastbound, eastbound and down. Oh, someone changed it back. So it is now officially dubbed the Lime Train. Wait, what the heck? Why is this not all connected? Uh, do you have the... Ashokan, Mohawk, and Western mod pack? I do. Okay, that explains some of these uh, reporting marks. Do you have the whole railroad unlocked? Uh, I've got... We're trying to unlock to a larger junction. Okay. Currently. Yeah, we have up to... Uh... We have up to where do we have up to? We have all the way up to Brooks unlocked right now, so we don't have the uh, past almond or to almond uh, past that, and we don't have to actual Alarca proper. But well, we will soon, hopefully. Because after we get past uh, down to Natahala, it'll be uh, it'll be that'll be the last expansion, won't it? It will. We'll go straight down to Andrews. Also, do I need to take this big string of empty cordwood cars back with me? Yes. Going on to a um, we'll put that on a different train so that we are not overloaded. But uh, it eventually will need to go. But what I'm thinking is, General, I'm, I'm currently switching out of the interchange uh, train bound for Bryson. That will have a couple of drop-offs okay. along the way. Okay. And then there is another string of cars for, um... Oh, shit. The place. The place with the people. And the stuff. And the thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that there. 
What, what did fine. you do? I did nothing. Mm. Uh, I had a switch lined wrong, and I put the hopper near the coaling tower, but on the wrong track. Ah. Uh, but the other one is still, you know. Doing its thing. Yeah, so you just gotta swap them later, it's fine. Cool. Okay. Where are you at, by the way, Angry? Uh, I am at the interchange, but you have a train ready for you at the interchange when you're ready. All right, cool. I'm shoving the uh, cordwood cars, I guess, on the passing track. I'm going to shove them back onto the passing track, or should I leave them sitting here at the branch off into some of paper? Um... <sighs> That's a damn good question. Um, I'll uh, I'll move them here in a in a minute. So you want me to just drop them here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, just as a side note, I think the Jeep burns the fuel quicker than the banana train. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I mean, we're talking road engine versus switcher. Your mom's a switcher. In bed. How does that how? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about my mother. There you go. Angry Ragtimer, woo of mothers. Woo of mothers. Yes. I mean, Someone my mom's has to easy, be. so doesn't mean much. Oh my god, I finally got off of D-Grit on those check valves I've been lapping for five days. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. The valve seats actually look, like, almost good. Like, actual valve seats? Yeah, like, like they're not full of pits. Huh. It's wild. Uh, which string is mine? The one on the far left track. You are now lined for it. Uh, if anyone's gonna come through Bryson, please let me know ahead of time, because I have left switches everywhere. Okay, there is an automated oh, just... AI train heading down towards Hemingway, but you've got time. Hey, I, yeah, just I, really I see him. him. Yeah? They modeled the Prime Mover in the actual Jeep. Did they? Yeah. Not super detailed, but they did model it. Huh. Jeeps are just an aesthetically pleasing locomotive. Yes. Reject low hood, embrace high hood. I don't know, I kind of like the Western Maryland's fugly chop nosed Jeep 9s. Uh, I don't know. I, I really, it kind of hurt my feelings whenever Norfolk Southern got rid of all their high hood SD40 2s. Don't they still have, like, high-hood GP49s and whatnot? Uh... No, I think they chopped all their high-hoods. Oh, he's moving. So, I got 
Whittier, 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 Whittier. Whittier, Whittier. Wow, a lot of stuff for Whittier. Appalachian, Appalachian, Appalachian. Bryson. Dulles Please grab a caboose at Dillsboro and take it with you. Will do. Maybe you can grab that new steel one. The new steel one? Yeah. Do you want me to take uh, the caboose from Bryson with me when I go to Dillsboro? Yes, please. Okay, and my one car. I thought you should have two, because there's one at oh, um, yeah, Appalachian. Right. Yeah, I'm switching the other one right now. Yeah. So it's going to be 734, two cars, and a caboose. Yep, and then you'll have more cars to pick up at Whittier. This gotcha. is what you call a long distance freight. It'll be interesting to see how much fuel I burn on my way over there, because I'm at 1,092 gallons right now. Someone write that down in chat. Six. Uh, Freebird intensifies as CNO 614 is thundering across New Jersey transit tracks. At nope, that just sounds like Ross Roland right there. No one wants that. <laughs> All right, I'm lining the uh, passenger train through the main at Bryson. Cool. And I'll stay out oh, of way. I just, I just saw uh, Snake's comment. Uh, yeah, I heard about the double cicada batch uh, coming up this year. Oh, we're doing that again? Yay! Yeah. Oh my god, I remember that when I was a kid. That was wild. Yeah. So apparently it's it's happening again, and uh, I hate those things. With a burning passion. <laughs> Nothing like trying to go to sleep at midnight and you just hear ring outside your window. So you got one of those little things sitting on your windowsill. I don't know what it is, but they're, they were also some of the dumbest bugs I've ever encountered because they always seem to find a way into, like, a building or a garage and just couldn't get their way out. And you try to pick them up and they just kind of buzz at you angrily. Just like I do with you. Yeah. Pretty, it's buzz at really you angrily. Accurate. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I agree. I was watching your railroads online video, and I, I enjoy your pain. Thank you. I don't know whether to be flattered or. Uh... I, I've been curious about it, but I refuse to play that fucking game again anytime soon. Uh, so seeing the new, you know, everything. Yeah. Look, if someone's gonna. You know, take the bullet for playing that game. Might as well, be, might as well be your old pal, Angry. Well, considering you labeled that as episode one, I'm assuming there's going to be more episodes. Well, I haven't recorded anything yet. Well, that's this, <laughs> it is, because it is I wasn't really sure if the general consensus would be, "Why the hell are you playing that game? Don't do that to yourself." Well, you do realize that. The only thing I'm uh, I'm slightly upset about is the fact that you didn't invite us. Well, I didn't so know if you'd want to play or not. Like, isn't the multiplayer fucking broken? I mean, it's always been broken, but isn't it more broken now? I don't know. Well, we can test it. Okay, General, you have my word that when I record another episode, I will include you on it. If you are available. Yay. It'll make your popularity go up. Well, considering wow. every time you join, the stream does spike up with the number of watchers by like yeah, five or ten already, people. You've already gained, we have scientific evidence here. You've already gained five people since I joined, by the way. So, I mean... Yeah... Uh, also, number 6969, just be aware that a passenger train is down near Coey. 
That sounds like the passenger train's problem. Uh oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm heavier than the passenger train, I don't care. <laughs> but the passenger train makes me good money. So, yeah, so? It made me $3 at Hemingway on the to stop. $3. $3 I didn't have before. You know, fair enough. I mean, you literally didn't because you're in like 50 grand worth of debt. Well, soon it'll be... Actually, no, I'm at 49,000 in debt, so... I said Hot. like it. <laughs> it. It was 50 when I got on, and then it was, you know, went slightly down. Yes. Yes. Okay, real talk, though, where is the passenger train? Koei, I told you. Is it stopping at Koei? No. So you're telling me I need to get out of the way. Uh, I'm what saying that the passenger train has stopped at Koei, and whether you decide but... to pass it on the passing track is well, your... I gotta pick up a caboose. Okay. So... You better pick up a caboose, yep. Dumb yeah, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you told me to pick up a caboose. Did you put the steel caboose behind the wooden caboose? Nope, never mind. Okay, we're good. Look, I may be an idiot. Yes. <laughs> My brain stroked out. I may not be a smart man. But I'm also not a goat. That we know of. Allegedly. Yes. According to my mom. Alright, banana train, it is up to you. Also Did you uh did you line the train to go keep going or is it just If you threw a switch, it's now moving, so Okay. I just wanted to double check on that. It's got fusees down at the station, so. Okay. Did Bacon did send things? me earlier today. Apparently, there's a new mod on GitHub, like a train management system, that train management? like it'll work for like passengers, so you can automate the trains and stuff. Like fully automate them. Something like that. So, like, let's say if we were running down to Nantahala and we had passengers who were going to uh, you know one of the stations down there but you had to go through Alarca Junction and some people because you clicked all the buttons were going to Alarca like it would be smart enough to tell people to get off at that transfer station and wait for another train uh... oh. I've not really looked into it Bacon sent it to me earlier but I've just been between work and then meeting the Midland for dinner and then uh, you know but essentially it, it makes actual hotshot trains and locals possible that's what it looked like I need to look at that hello Tim welcome to the stream and guys I am so happy to say we finally reached 69 views on today's stream Excellent. yay nice nice uh, you can, apparently, uh, you could chalk, like, three of those up to me. I'm not complaining. I mean, a view is a view. Yes. Yeah, I'm well, I mean, I've been doing, uh, whenever I repair a GPU, you know, I put on a friend's playlist as a stress test. And just leave it there for, like, two days. Excellent. Wow, he said, you, you've been reduced to nothing but a stress test to angry. <laughs> Isn't everything in Angry's life a stress test? Is that why he's so angry? That might be why I'm so angry. Could be why he's so angry. I got... Uh, I don't know how many views Mark's gotten, because I was doing a, a stress test on a GPU, and I forgot about it, and it was just, like, watching Mark's uh, Derail Valley playlist mm -hmm. for, like, literal weeks. So essentially you were farming views for Mark, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and it was on a YouTube Premium account. <laughs> nice. Nice. Giving him that sweet, sweet premium money. Yeah, buddy. You might have made like $7.
Hey, that's seven dollars the man didn't have before. Exactly, seven dollars is seven dollars, man. Yeah. You know what? I would do for dollars. What? <laughs> what would you do for seven dollars? I don't know. I was hoping that you'd tell me. Got a few ideas, but they're not necessarily content appropriate for the stream. We are a kid-friendly channel here. Are we? This is this is oh. family-friendly. Oh my oh, god! god. I was at Amherst, and I was looking around, and this dude had a box of like older trains, and um, he went, "Yeah, just they're all on prices negotiable on all of them. You know." Pick one up, look at it, make me an offer. And I went, yeah, okay. And I saw a Bachman Santa Fe F7, which I need another one because I want the trucks off of it. And it's the only one with the silver trucks. Mm -hmm. And I picked it up and it was like two generations older than what I wanted. And it had a $25 price tag on it. And I, I put it down and he's like, no, that's not how this works. You know, you picked it up. Now you make me an offer. And I was like, well, I'm not paying $25. He's like, yeah, just make me an offer. And I was like, $4. And he was like, done, sold. I was like, well, shit, you got me. So I handed him four dollars, which was like all the cash I had on me, and now I have this really shitty Bachman F unit. And I'm gonna strap jet engines too. There you go. Nice. You won. Congratulations. You gotta, love tables like, you gotta love tables like that. Actually, they just like, you know, they pr overpriced that, and they know that they overpriced those stuff. That stuff, but they just want the interaction, and you walk off feel like you're feeling like you got a good deal when in reality you probably paid, paid like 50 cents for that locomotive. Oh, I, I don't feel like I got a good deal. I just, I was taken yeah. back by the audacity, essentially. By his aggressive sales tactics? Yeah. Um, yeah. and I totally didn't sneak it into Bachman's booth at one point. Whoa. Really? That did not happen. Mm. I did not have general relations with that Bachman. Well, I was really freaking mad. I bought a seven. I bought the Western Rail and Scenic dome car from him, and it looks like ass. Mm. Hey, on a completely unrelated note, would you be happen? Would you happen to be in an, in and in, uh, in the market for a pair of uh, UP F units, powered F units? Uh, to the HO scale. Yeah, Bachman. Hey, Big Bad John. Uh, I cannot remember off the top of my head. They're buried somewhere behind me. Oh, well, I, I specifically need the Bachmans. But I know that they're both... Why powered. do you need Bachman units? Because I got, I got some shitpost Hawthorne Village Bachmans. Uh-huh. What the fuck? Why is the passenger train backing up and blowing my eardrums out? The passenger train... Needs water and coal. Oh. So I'm moving oh. it back to clear the main so I can use the crossovers to quickly go get coal and water. Okay. Uh, anyway, I have some, like, I got a bunch of those stupid Hawthorne Village, like, ABBA sets of F units in various stupid paint schemes. Uh, but the B unit dummies have, like, huge flanges and can't run on code 83. But the powered ones have normal flanges and can, and then I'm gonna put so DCC in them, and then I also want powered F units. So like I'm working on an ABBA set of International Harvester F7s because why not? So what you're saying is you're working with some ABBAs right there, Mamma Mia! Yeah. Here we go again. It's a joke, son. Yeah, I'll laugh when it's funny. <laughs> wow. Wow. So I'm assuming you're painting them all Santa Fe, right? No, the I just need silver trucks. Uh... I, I need I, I'm taking the shells off and just popping the Hawthorne Village shells on. But they have uh they have silver trucks and the Santa Fe's are the, usually the easiest to find with the silver trucks. I mean you could always paint the trucks. I'll paint your trucks. Yeah, I, I mean, guess I the, could. I mean, the genuine question is, why would you want the Hawthorne Village uh, paint schemes? Oh, I, I got them as a Christmas present, and it's funny. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, uh, Zam. 
Yeah. I have, I have a few more cars for you to grab before you head uh, east out of uh, the thing of a bubber. God, making me do work. All right. So, if you go railroad? up the Walker Branch, there is approximately that? six or seven loaded cordwood cars that are ready to uh, come down the hill and also head east. Where are they going? Like Whittier? They're, no, they're going all the way to Silva. Oh, they're interchange? Not interchange, but they're for East Silva paperboard. Oh, paperboard. Okay. I did not have relations with those paperboard cars. Anyway, whoever doesn't don't the UP ones have. I also didn't see who was talking when they said they had the UP uh, ones for sale. General. They general. It was me, the general. Bum, general bum, bum, chaos. Bum, bum, bum. The general. General. Actually, I. Th I have pictures of them on my phone, just so I don't have to dig them out of my pile of locomotives. I mean, if you're willing to, if they're Bachman and you're willing to sell them, I'll, I'll talk. It's one of those things of like I got, I'm, I was going to go into HO scale, and then I got, I found O N thirty, which was like really kind of a funky scale. I thought it was neat, and then I kind of got more O and thirty, and then I got even more O and thirty, and so now I'm kind of committed. Fair enough. So you could be like me, who had a lot of G gauge but had not touched it for several years, and then got the G gauge bug, and has now spent way too much money in the most recent months to buy more G gauge. Essentially, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I, I kind of seem to go through a spell of buying. Uh, O-130 equipment and locomotives, and then I'll, like, not touch it for a while, and then I'll buy some more. Because I'll find, like, a good deal or something. You'll buy some that, s'mores. That's, how, that's literally how I how I got the majority of my uh, O-130 equipment and why I have way too many passenger cars is because I kept finding good deals on, like, the O-130 passenger sets with the moguls and everything. Look at this beautiful train with the lime train. Oh, choo yeah. choo! Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna post something in the uh, in uh, streaming VC. Okay. Hold on, where, 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 where? Uh, well, I, do I, bleh, words. Uh, am I clear the passenger train to go up the Walker branch? Yeah, you got, you're good, clear to go up. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> this train. This train. We're gonna AI it to go train. forward. And then we're going to go back to the other number two and uh, get some coal and water loaded so that train will be done. There you go, Angry. That's a joke, boy. You missed it. Went right past you. You got to keep, I say, you got to keep on your toes. Put toes out of ears. Put the fast ones get right by you. Keep your ears open. Put... God, that is beautiful. And I hope chat heard that. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. What did Chuck? What did we hear? Yeah, okay. It was uh, Foghorn Leghorn and Sylvester. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what's the speed limit up the Walker Branch? I think 25. Uh, 25, yes. 50, I think it might be. It's like 15. But it's also it's like 25. Because it's weird. It's 45 if you're not a chicken. Is well, the Walker Branch the one just east of Bryson, right? Yeah. I've done 45 coming down that hill because of desync. That? Hot damn. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered something. I do have a Santa Fe F unit. I think I still have it. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Yep. All right. So. Yeah. So the weird thing about the F, the uh, UPF units, is I couldn't find. I don't think I could find any sort of uh, maker's mark on them. Well, that's because they're not an alcoholic. Nice. Uh, uh, if, they're, if they're Bachman, it'll say so on the uh, and the style I need. It'll say so on the fuel tank on the underside. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is these didn't have any marking for like Bachman or anything underneath them. Oh, okay. Uh, now I do I do know for a fact that I have one Santa Fe Bachman F unit that I had used as like a testing locomotive for the longest time. Which I could look at getting ya. It's just a matter of I gotta. I, I need to dig it out to make sure I didn't sell it because I sold a lot of my stuff. That's fine. I mean, they they pop up on eBay pretty regularly if you don't have yours. Yeah. Midland, I'm gonna say this, and that is not a thing for you to do, but you know the conversation we had earlier today at dinner about items on eBay. Yes. There's some of them on eBay right now. <laughs> you have given Items me dangerous eBay. information. <sighs> oh no. I... See, people just give me dangerous information here. It's great. Well, here's the thing. So, chat, we've established that I am a simp for the White Pass. And I also am trying to model the White Pass in Yukon in GH. So, there are a number of cars on there that I would love to get at some point, but. Uh, a few weeks ago, the thing that I was really looking to get was... Wait, there's another number? Oh, shit. Well... Sir, there's a second Mikado. <laughs> Sir, there's a second White Pass Diesel. Um, oh, never mind. Not a Mikado. Not a Mikado. White Pass Diesel? White Pass Diesel. So... White... Um, so apparently, so the one that I bought earlier this year, or I guess late last year, was a LGB, um, no sound white pass Alco 101 class, which I've wanted one for a bit because I remember is my, is that the shovel nose? Yeah. It's the, it's the shovel nose Alco. <laughs> And uh, I think it was numbered 108. No, 110. But, oh crap, no, there's three locomotives. God damn it. So there's also a White Pass steam engine where they only made like 600 of the Mikados of 73. But it's like four grand, and I don't have that kind of money. But it's a really nice engine. And then the one that I really want um, is the Shovel Nose, but they had a limited run of the green one. Which is, uh, you know, the colors that, not the most recent one that they did, but they've had since like the 70s or 80s. Mm -hmm. But I just discovered that they have um, the White Pass Diesel at a different number with sound. Did you see the uh, the 280, the Bachman Spectrum one? I've been seeing that. I'm not as interested in it. Like, I would much rather have 73... Or more of the shovel noses, to be honest. Because I'm hoping with my outdoor future garden railroad, I could have, like, essentially two on the front of a train and then have a whole fleet of white pass cars behind it. Nice. And, you know, there's plenty of that out there. So I could have anything from, you know, container cars, tankers, you know, box cars, you name it. Yeah. Plus I mean, the, all... the caboose, so. Oh, there's a, there's a water tower on the Walker branch, but not on the fucking, like, entire western end of the railroad. Correct. Correct. You are correct, sir. Dumb. Uh, <laughs> I also keep trying to tell Angry that he keeps spending all this money on G-Gage when he could just as easily spend that money and, uh, buy seven and a half inch gauge. 
Uh, that's that's a lie. I've I've sold like most of my G gauge, and I've barely afforded wheels and maybe a frame. So. I paid three grand for my rail truck. For your what? Rail truck. I had the opportunity to buy a live steam seven and a half inch gauge locomotive for four grand. What did you almost get for four grand? It was a. Two six zero. Like what kind of two six zero? Uh, the sketchy kind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Scott, okay, so Scotty, General is not a live steam expert. General doesn't know the ins and outs of live steam. General well, will likely like... not be able to give you the information you desire. Well, I'm not entirely sure what exactly he's asking. Like, is he asking for a specific model type? Because it, I think it's is it like an Allen Mogul? Mogul? It looked is like it... an Allen Mogul, but I think it was very much a case of someone made something that's a close approximation. Oh, that's terrifying. How late it, is this public? Very much. It very much seemed like a homemade deal. That could be good or bad. I mean, it looked good. Don't get me wrong. It looked like it been it had been stored in a barn for a couple of years, but it looked good. Yeah, until you find out the boiler shot and cost you twelve grand to make a new boiler. Yeah. Hey, there's a four. Yeah, Squidward. There's a yeah, Squidward. Uh, O four O for sale for twenty five hundred dollars. Hmm. Is a three All truck right, shade for fifteen grand. There's a four eight four northern project for sixteen or er, for fifteen thousand or best offer. Yeah, it sounds about right. The best I can do is three fifty. Tree I don't God I damn lock this monster ain't gonna give you no tree fifty. <laughs> Here you go, here's a two six four two six two yeah, don't even don't even look don't even look at that thing. I know what you're talking about. Don't even look at it. Just ignore that. I'm very confused. That's fine. Don't just shh. it's okay. Remain confused and walk away. Uh, 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 mm. What is this? What is this other? No, no, no. Just shh. It's okay. It's okay. Just close the tab. Just look at the White Pass uh, Mikado on sale. That'll make you happy. Just it makes me happy. Long, the white long path. Nose. The white path has nose. the second best looking narrow gauge Mikados. Barely second place. And the first place is... are. He's brought up. Damn right. Sorry, got a little too excited there. I'm, I'm why do you think? Why do you think I'm spending way too much money building seventeen? I'm just, I'm, I'm still sitting here and I'm just sort of enthralled by what I'm looking at. Wait, Angry, if you work with them, why, why White Pass? Because White Pass is bay. I mean, yeah, they're really fucking cool, especially operation-wise. Yeah, like, EBT's cool and all, but White Pass is like, bay. Is Bay. I mean, hot White take. Passes. My favorite thing from the White Pass is the diesels. I like the diesels on the White Pass better than the steam engines. Like I the actual right. shovel noses, not the, not. Wait, hold on. No, hey, I, I found you. A, I love uh, all the Alcos. Like actually... the ninety class are cool. The one hundred one class are incredible. The the steam engines are cool. Sixty nine looks like a fucking chunk of a locomotive, and I don't know how to feel about right. it. But um, 73 is just beautiful. But, uh, what about uh, 90? I'm, th I'm considering getting the wide cab DL535 in HON3. Nice. And painting it for something. Where do you find HON3 equipment, real talk? Uh, internet? Yeah, internet. And where do you find the internet? On your, Over on there? Your... It's a joke from Fairly Odd Parents, folks. Oh my, oh my god, you awoke in a, a core memory. <laughs> I, 
I quote uh, internet almost daily. <laughs> Not a fusey down up here, is there? There is a fusey. I don't need that in my life. But uh, just standing menacingly by the tracks. That'd be you, Mr. Ragtimer. I do what I want. By the way, for those who are keeping track, one year ago today, Locomotive 16 moved under her first power for the first time since 1956. What about her second power? Um, She breathes fire. Okay. You said she moved under her first power. God damn it. I her tired. second it power plays. is angry's tired. Her second okay. power is her unshakable mental fort fortitude. Yes. Alright, so I while mean, she puts up with she puts up with you, so yeah. After sitting in a roundhouse for <laughs> fifty odd years. Also, I just found a four six four Hudson for ten grand. Don't what do side? it. Seven and a half inch. Hmm. What's I'm wrong sorry. with it? Yeah. Doesn't look like anything. That's all that's more worrying. It says needs minor machine work. I don't know what that means. Mm. Minor machine work. Doesn't look like just from the photos that they put, doesn't look like anything is missing. Yeah, the run you know, honestly if if, if like the saddle and the boiler are good, like that that would be enough for me but doubt I would have to I see that's the thing about buying secondhand steam locomotives is I would I would insist on getting a hydro before I even considered buying one. Oh, you got to insist on a lot more than that. Like what exactly? Like have someone who really knows their shit actually go through it. Like call Scotty yeah. and fly him up there. Yeah, like uh if I whenever I buy or finish as i'm building my 17 i'm having um the owner of uh shit, how do i say his name Redens locomotive works mm -hmm. he's the number two guy at the valley he's supervising my steam locomotive build see i need to i need to get more into the actual technical side of things because i have the i just don't have the technical know-how on exactly how most of the like I, I know a lot of the physics and stuff behind it, but I just don't know the actual physical in steel portion of it. So if you can find them, there's a book series. It's like the International Handbook Corporation. They're these little black books that go over everything, and they're an amazing resource for knowing what to look for and if you want to build your own stuff, knowing how to do it. Now, I did buy uh, So You Want to Build a Steam Locomotive. Uh, That's a good that first book. step. Um, uh, they're, they're, the problem with that book is it's dated, and there's a lot of modern code. techniques and materials you can that aren't covered in it. Technique! Yeah, I, before I even thought about building anything like, you know, a highly explosive boiler, I would definitely look up all the codes and regulations and all that as well yeah my goal is to build everything but the boiler myself yeah because a, a a two and a half inch scale 17 boiler is a large boiler well you see my problem is is that if i if i ever think about it and i ever think about possibly building a, a locomotive i think about like hey seven and a half inch is pretty cool what about 15 inch? Yeah. Well, if you go to 15 inch, you may as well go to two foot. But I mean, if you're two foot, why not just take the extra step to three foot? And it's just, and then go no further. And then the FRA gets involved. Yeah. Well. The fra. Yeah. Only if it's, only if it operates publicly, though, doesn't it? No. Yeah. Yeah, but then yeah. you're also you're running the ire of state boiler too. I mean, you'd be running the, 
the state boiler codes no matter what wouldn't you because you if once you get past a certain point they kind of have to look at you don't they yeah Yes. A lot of a lot of states have rules for hobby boilers, and it's like below a certain volume and or heating surface area kind of deal. Um, okay. And it's a lot more lenient. Like even my even my seven and a half inch gauge seventeen for Washington State is going to be pushing it. Okay. I and mean, that's like I would looked at I had actually looked at a. Uh... I think it was a three-quarter or a half-scale case tractor that someone had built, hmm. and it had to uh, it had to be have like all the boiler it had an actual like ASME boiler stamp code and everything. Yep. Uh, by the way, number two is at Ella. But okay, see, well, number that's... two needs to wait there for a second. Okay. Something else I just thought about, though. There's a dude who sells boilers on eBay, and he, he does it a lot. I don't know I if can't... I trust boilers on eBay. Yeah, that well, that's... Yeah. I mean, he has, like, his own YouTube channel and everything, and he makes a lot of, all, a lot of just, like, vertical tube boilers. That's vastly yeah. different from a steam locomotive boiler. Well, yeah, I, I know I get that, but I'm just I'm wondering are are those treated differently than like horizontal tube boilers because it, I don't it, it depends I don't on know the if state. He has any certifications? Because I think he's out of Washington. Yeah, it depends on the state. I think there's like a I gotta look at Washington again. I know that there's a a section I fall into in Washington for what I want to build. That's still like a a range of the hobby. I think there's an even smaller one that I also think Washington might have it. Like if it doesn't leave your private property, it doesn't matter. Oh shit, wasn't paying attention. Woo! You good? I'm just taking that switch at 35. Whoops. Um, two can go and proceed That's on amazing. signal indication, but I'm gonna be in the way for a bit. Oh, wait, what? What do you do? Oh, oh, you're there. So I can yeah, go down I mean, two is what you're saying. Well, by the way, I, I would just at... have it proceed on signal, proceed on signal, because I need to get this boxcar. And then once I get this boxcar, I'll be out of the way. By the way, I am at uh, East Whittier. OK. Uh, beans. Why is Big Why is Big Bad John just posting beans in the chat? Well, well now there's a red board, so Yes. Wait, As what? There should be. No, hold on. You're 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 lying. But, uh, you need to go. But one thing I had always thought would be neat is if I could like build a little three foot gauge porter. And at that point, if I did do that, I would try to get it FRA certified. So if I ever could haul it around on a trailer and take it to like a couple different railroad museums or little three foot gauge railroads, that'd be really cool. Nice. I know at one point, I don't know how much of a pipe dream it was, but uh, they were talking about laying 15 or 16 inch gauge tracks on the old Seattle North Coast right really? away and doing like a Romney Height and Dimchurch thing. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. That would be cool. Well, uh, yeah, that would. The, the builder I knew who was going to be involved in it wanted to build a... He, he was talking about using my drawings and everything and my patterns and just doubling them. And so it'd be like a 15-inch gauge East Broadtop 16. Huh. Which would be a monster in 15-inch gauge. Have you seen the 15-inch the gauge Northern that, they, that someone's building? Uh, built. no. It was, there was, there was the fifth. There was the eight hundred one that was built and was done. Um, I. Now that go also got it. sold, and I don't remember where. I thought it was somewhere in South America. There was there was a fifteen inch gauge four ten two that they were building out at like Little America. 
Yeah. Yeah, that one, yeah. I think it was even bigger. I think it was actually a 412 too. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, it was a yeah, four or double digit two. Yeah. I think it was a 412 too. Big engine. 412 but there but there was Big if you look at like AT T and T N eight oh one or something, I forget the actual acronym. There was this private railroad in the Midwest that was all fifteen inch gauge and everything. And unfortunately when the owner passed, there wasn't you know they didn't need the engine anymore and the estate sold it i think to somewhere in south america but it was a 15 inch gauge northern it was actually really darn nice too oh dang uh, yeah you're you're getting into uh like you're getting into like some serious tractive effort at that point yeah uh by the way number seven you are gonna come and get your cars right Wait, where, what is number seven? Number seven is currently switching at Whittier. Whittier. Whittier? Is number seven AI or is number seven... Number seven is Midland. Driven? Oh, number seven is Midland. <laughs> yes, Hi, Midland. Hi, I'm currently in the way. Why am I now looking at more White Pass diesels to buy? I don't have the money. <laughs> Not with that attitude. No, I, I literally don't have the money to do that. Also, who who joined? Hi, Scotty. Uh, Sc Scotty's back from the ah, grocery store. Scotty's back. Scotty's back. He's back. Scotty's Alarm. back. Hey, it's okay to do 28 miles an hour in yard limits in an 060, right? Um, yeah. I mean, I've blazed it, through East Whittier. It may be, like, before. less than ideal. That's quite a lean. Oh, Lord. And that's why He's it would be less than ideal. ideal. My condition's Please still 100%. Don't bend. It's fine. Also, um. Please don't bend. Why is there somebody on my yard track? Hi. Uh, that would be the diesel. Why is the dismal on my yard track? The, the dismal. The dismal is on your yard track? Why is the dismal on my yard track? Because he wants to get I'm... close to you and get to know you better. Because I'm switching out the cars for the uh, sawmill. Alright, well, I'm adding a car to that cut on track four, so just be aware of that. That's fine. I was moving this cut right between or right next to it on the uh, passing siding, so you could still get to it. Uh, oh, do you have a preference? Sure you, I'm just making sure you were aware of my intentions. What are your intentions with my daughter? With my choo-choo? Have you ever seen this video of 475 with an excavator? Oh no! Oh god, no! Yeah. No! Oh. And here comes the excavator with a steel chair. Uh, hey, did, do you have a preference between me using 734 and 90 for this road? Nope, rate? whichever you prefer. Well, I like 734, but the tender is so fucking stupid looking. So. It's an Ellis and I tender. I don't want an Ellis and I tender. I want the tender off a of New York Central Mohawk. Well, I can't help you there. Why is there? Oh, I hate this. I hate all of this. Why? Also, why why did you stick the cars for Appalachian Hardwoods and Bryson in my yard? So I could get to the other end of the train and shove the cars for the sawmill. Well, I'm the switcher for the sawmill, so just. Like... Well, I wasn't aware of that when I started this plan. Well, wow, the lime train's going all over the place. Yay, lime train! You, Fucking you lime train. You should be like, more aware of the plan. Wow. Wow. Shot fired. So, are you what? So, real talk, are you switching out all the sawmill cars? Yes. I am the sawmill switcher. He speaks for the okay. trees. So, are you gonna also get that one heating oil car in there? I can. Oh, really? Man, I, I, I will be right back. I have to go deal with angry ducks. Have fun. Okay. Quack. Quack. That sounds like me on yeah, a bad day. There's a Denzel Manufacturing and a Hollyfield heating oil card that they decided to stick right behind a Whitty or Sawmill car for some apparent reason. You know. 
It just do be like that sometimes. They do be like that. They just do what they do. I mean, in that case, if you're going to... You need to be down here then, don't you? You could just, like, shove them in front of me. I could, yeah. Uh, actually, so, here's what we can do. We can, uh... I can shove them in front of you. You pick out the two cars that need to go down to uh, Whittier proper. No, they and can then... stick exactly where they are. They'll be fine. You need to you need to separate them out. Fine. though. I have you a plan. To... He has I a plan. He just needs Wait, more why, money. Why are they there? That's what I said. All right, hold on. Stop. Wow. So. I got a plan, and that's what I was saying. Actually, no, I'll I still push... have a plan. I still have a plan. Just put them in front I'll of me. Push... I'll deal with it. I was going to say, I'll push these past you, then you grab these two. We'll uncouple it in front of these two. You grab these two, and then I recouple the rest of the train. And then you have just the one big string for the for the song. <coughs> you recouple that the rest of the train? That was a noise. I recouple the rest of the train. I recouple the rest of the train. Why would you recouple the rest of the train? Your mom would recouple the rest of the train. This. Watch this. Oh, right. There is a method. There is oh, a no, method. if I have the two method. cars, just shove the rest of the cars in front of me, and I'll just sh shove you out of the way. Oh, he's going to shove something out of the way. There's a method to this madness, because see, like, what I'll do is I'll move this out of the way, and then you'll get those two cars, mm -hmm. and then I'll shove, I'll shove all these cars back together, and then you'll have the whole string of... No, uh, you're not going to be shoving any cars back together. Just put those cars by the engine house once I grab these. Wow. Drama. But that's what I'm Drama. saying. Is there's, you're not saying there's that, though. One... You may think you're saying that. You are not saying that. You're just... You don't know nothing. Fight! 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 You keep saying that you are putting this train back together. All I need you to do is shove the rest of those cars by the engine house. That is it. Fight! Fight! That's fight! What doing! Well, you're you're saying you're gonna put the train back together, which you are not doing. Fight, fight, fight! Yeah, I'm putting fight. the train back together. That car with these cars. I feel like Stan Marsh when he's watching that like baby fight show. Yeah. Why, General? Why did you un? Why did you uncouple this? Because that's a Whittier sawmill car. Yeah, I could just take it with me and stick it on the end of the cut that you're gonna shove by the engine house. Because those are all also for the sawmill. What difference does it make at this point? It was just going to be easier. You say that as you've wasted more time going back forward. I wasted the time. I wasted the damn time. You've just you, have gone, gone, you have gone out of your way just to make a point, and I don't yes. see why. There is no reason. I was doing that to give you more room on the switching track because I was I planning take on more room. I'll having take no, room. no, no. You, you're misunderstanding because what I was going to do is then run around and then couple up to my cars. Guys, this is what I happens when you have idiots that. in charge of the switching. Jump your cars forward. <laughs> By idiots, I mean general. It's not me, it's Midland. Just shove your cars All his forward. fault. All shove his fault. cars over on the, the track, if you know what I mean. Because see, now I can't get to my cars. Oh. You can. You trust me. Once you shove those cars out of the way, I will. Yeah, once you, you'll back you'll up. have to get in front of me. And yeah, then I'll have to. Back we'll just have to wait five seconds. Which my is glorious plan, where I could have just gone in and got my cars and not had to worry about it. Because see, my original plan was to shove that box car all the way up there, so I could just back straight off of here onto my cars. You do realize. Even with that plan, General? Because now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to back General? out of your way. General. And then you're going to have to come forward, and then I'm going to have to go back forward around the switch and then get back General? onto my train. Yes. General. Take a look at the, where the second boxcar is, which is where it would have been had it just been that boxcar. Your plan would not have worked regardless. You're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm saying I would just have backed straight onto my train 
and then got my train backed it out onto the main and kept going, whereas now I'm having to wait for you to clear out so that I can go back forward across the switch and then back onto my train. <sighs> yes. Though essentially you're wasting more time. No, I'm wasting your time, which is more important. Yeah, it is more important, because I'm the long-distance freight. I am the Jeep. I am the lime train. I reign supreme on the I train. demand respect as the lime train! Respect my I authority. speak for the limes! <laughs> well, did you two figure out your plan? I'm seeing a lot of popcorn in chat. As you should. Fucking lime train. Yeah, well, uh, I don't, I don't know if you guys are using track horns or signals or anything, but I'm getting ready to leave Bryson. Yeah, and, we're using uh, signals. Uh, I don't pay attention to signals. You've been warned. Uh, I'd prefer it. it'd be a lot cooler if you did. We'll do my best. Well, let's put it like this. There's gonna be a. By the way, there's a passenger train about to come into uh, East Whittier. And the other oh, passenger train's holding it Whittier proper. So, um... I, I can get to Ella. Oh, wait. 8's coming back? I did not know about 8 coming back. Yeah, 8's coming back. Uh, can I... Am I clear to Ella, at least? Yes. Okay. Just, uh, hold on the siding at Ella, please. Yeah, I can do that. Hmm. Man, I'm glad that this VOD will be up for future generations to avoid the chaos that just occurred. By the way, do you record chat on your VODs or no? Uh, I think it is saved. <laughs> Why, are you going to, based off of chat, are you going to look for the drama? I mean, you have to at this point. <laughs> Everyone's loving you guys, so, you know. <laughs> We are your content. Yes. Angry doesn't do shit in stream. It's all General and Midland. Scotty occasionally. And now Zam. I'm obnoxious. Come for Angry Ragtimer. Stay for General. I believe that was the comment. Wow. Is that what you tell everyone? I'm just the star of the show. Why is there a Locust Pin car up here? Because it needs to go back because it was brought over here so, by accident. So, okay, story behind that car. An individual who were named Nameless, for whatever reason, forgot it was in their train and brought it uh, up here. That's the car, okay. Ah, yes, the car. The car I specifically told him about was on his train. The car I offered to take from his train so I could put it up. That car. Yes. Alrighty. Also, general. Mm, yes. Well, no, would have made what would have actually legitimately made your plan even better. What's that? Had you jumped forward, decoupled the the one solo with your sawmill car, pulled everything back, let me grab that car, and then shoved everything back forward, because now I have to do even more switching. Well, that's your own fault. No, it's not. You, you. This was part of your plan. No, no, you ruined my plan. You vetoed my plan the moment You're, you started. No, your me. whole plan was to drop three no, cars, but you, you could have just dropped one. You vetoed my plan. You vetoed your my whole, plan. You your plan have, started and continued if you with dropping three cars. If you had concerns about my plan, you should have voiced them before I shoved the God train damn. forward. Or I could have pulled the train back <laughs> after you said something. But no. This is all general fault. I blame him. It's it's all Midland's fault, clearly. <laughs> now I you angry. see what I have to deal with every day. Good. Good people. Uh, is there every anything day. else I need to pick up on my way to Silva? Yes, there will be cars at uh, East Whittier for you to pick up. Oh, at the uh, sawmill? Yep. Copy that. Oh, a green signal. Look, I paid attention. Yay! You know, I probably should be paying. A, I probably should be paying more attention to where the other. I mean, there was a train at Ella, train. by the way, General. Just so you know. Not at Ella. Uh, well, there's a passenger train behind me, and there's a passenger train in front of me, so I'm kind of 
body blocking one of the passenger trains at this point. Yes, you are. And you're doing a great job of it. God yes. damn, the fucking yes. chaos. Star of the show coming through. It sounded crunchy. Probably go hide up here on the Walker branch or, or on the uh, Connolly branch to get out of the way of the passenger trains because I don't think there's enough room up here. Hey, General, are you missing something? Did you uncouple my caboose? <laughs> okay, Nat, what the fuck is going on Nat. over there? <laughs> A little harmless prank. He uncoupled my Your caboose. deal. I can't even stop with it. I can't even stop it because you bottled the air. You could hit the handbrake. Uh, I just hit the handbrake. <laughs> Dear fucking yes! God. Yes! <laughs> that now is I have to stop. You're blocking you're, my money-making passenger train. Confusion. You're causing confusion and delay, Midland. In my defense, I was left unsupervised. Confusion and delay. Is Dad going to have to get so down there and supervise you bitches? Mmm. <laughs> Sorry, that was my one little bit of fun. I'm sorry. Where is the passenger train I'm meeting at Ella? Uh, uh, it's currently blocked by dumb shit number one and dumb shit number two. Hey, at, wait uh, a minute. Wait a minute. This was... Hey, I did not cause this blockage. Sounds like you did a little bit. I'm a victim of... I'm a victim of uh, targeted abuse here. <laughs> and discrimination against wow. green trains. Dear Lord. It's because I'm green, isn't it? Well, you know what they say, it ain't easy being green. No, it ain't. Uh, well, oh, we should have called that Diesel Kermit. 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 If we had small text under the window, I would call it Kermit. Tell uh, Green Engine to get on that. Cows when? Yeah, when can we put the Suffering Southern logo on all of our equipment? We need it. We want it. We gotta have it. By the way, Five whenever someone gets minutes. down to Dillsboro and drops off their cars, there is a westbound freight ready to go as well. Just as a future heads up. Alright, let me ask this at this point. Do I need to just get out of the way of the, of the passenger trains? Look, if you're heading west, take your cars, go along the passing track at Whittier, and go to Ella and meet the freight at Ella. Just, just do it. Okay. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Nothing is Don't impossible. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Uh, I probably should check to make sure my switch isn't going to put me directly into the front of the passenger train. Uh, it isn't, because I made sure. Excellent. Cool. Perfect. Everything You're gonna make me wait at Ella for a passenger train that hasn't been to Whittier yet? Well, it's right behind me, and it would have already been at Whittier if it hadn't been for somebody pulling my coupler. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, this is a PG-13 channel. Actually, you were still on the block, good sir. No one needs so... to touch anyone's couplers. You I were still on the block, so technically you've been blocking it this whole time. Says the man switching in the East Whittier. Hey, I all my switches are aligned properly, so. Speaking of, will that then allow the other passenger train to come up? A yellow signal. Accelerate. Wait, isn't this yellow the 30 mile an hour signal? Green means go. Yellow I'm colorblind. Go. That means go faster. <laughs> Not actually Midland, calm down. Okay. <laughs> well, all I was going to say is that's less than ideal in this situation. Well, I, so, I thought you were referring to based on you know my job in real oh, life. No. <laughs> I mean that's why that's why signals have that's why semaphore signals have the little arm, so you can tell. 
even if you are colorblind. God, you bunch of... Hmm. I'm sorry, what was that man who makes money, or who will be making money off of this content? Eventually. Midland's the one who makes money right now. Yeah, you know you know what? You're right. Midland is technically the only professional YouTuber among us right now. The most professional of YouTubers. <laughs> Me? A professional? Are you sure about you that? Make money off, uh, you make money off of it, therefore it is a job, i.e. a professional. Yes. A professional? By that standard, I was a professional RC helicopter pilot. Yes. Yeah. Neat. Yes. Is BC Rail reporting marks uh, from the mod pack, or...? Uh, Probably um... not. If it... So, well, when I say yes, but it's not for BC Rail. It's for something else. Is BCOL? That's BC Rail, I thought. B call. No, I. Th is it? Well, I guess in the 40s it would have been PGE or Pacific Great Eastern. No, B BC mm -hmm. Rail is that. So, oh no, that might be from the mod pack, and that might be BC Rail. Uh. Oh, to answer your question, Snick. Uh. We East Whittier is just the yard east of Whittier. Whittier or Whittier proper is. The Just station. The, the station. The area around the station. Also, before Whittier Chad gets and Whittier confused, Whittier proper I... is the same thing. Before Chad gets confused, General is a friend. I'm merely teasing him. Why is number eight not moved yet? General is friend. Probably because number seven's blocking the way. No, seven is nowhere near blocking the way. All my, all my no, switches, even for the, the passing slot thing. Is your your cars are over the block? You're blocking the way. You're causing confusion and. Alarm. I just reset that son of a bitch. Uh, I'm in the clear, Ella. Okay. Right. Switches are aligned for the main. There's lots of red signals. I got their red signals. Because there's a passenger uh, train the station. Uh, no, it'd be more likely due to the fact that you have a. Freight train. No, it's 69. Six, the, the lime train is my issue. Yeah. Once the lime train is through, I'm going to send you down to Whittier. I'll hold the passenger, okay. considering it's still going to take a minute to get up here. Meanwhile, the other train is. Doing its thing. Cool. No, we are all sober. We are not breaking rule G. At least I am sober. I know for oh, a I'm, fact uh, that uh, that Midland is sober. Yep. I'm not. There we go. I am, I'm sober, My wife told so. me I was being uh, annoying and to have a beer, and I did what I was told. But yes, it is usually a very safe assumption that Midland is sober. That doesn't necessarily mean not tired, but definitely sober at least. Okay. It's it's kind of odd after running nothing but steam locomotives as ro as road engines for so long, just having a GP9 rolling down the rails. All right, I am headed to Whittier. Am I lined into the siding, or do I need to line myself? I will have You'll you lined. Be lined for the main. You'll be lined for You'll the main. You'll probably be lined. Yeah. Oh, am I coming in behind the steam uh, passenger train? Uh, we're gonna hold one of the passenger trains here. We're gonna send gonna the hold. the west the eastbound. Leave the westbound. So you'll be good. Yeah. All right. I'll 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 switch the line for the main. Excellent. Look at that money. That's 
Why do I have that stuck in my head right now? I got the the musical numbers for the Brave Locomotive stuck in my head right now. It's a good song. It is. I need to rewatch it actually. I still haven't watched that all the way through. You need to watch it all the way through. It's worth it. It's a fantastic little animation that I was waiting like nine years for. Although I gotta Look at say, our beautiful I, Pacifics. Little, I gotta say, as beautiful as that animation was, I was a little disappointed that it wasn't longer. That's my only complaint about it. Like, there's so much... It looks like they did so much work with world building, building and everything that they could have made it easily at least 30 minutes. Or am I out of pocket for saying that? Your mom's out of pocket. Damn! Hey, sir. You know who else is out of pocket? Your mom? My mom! No. Also, I just realized something. The, uh, the cupola on that caboose is oh. the most useless thing ever because it won't, it does not clear the boxcars. Wow. Well, you know what they say. Baba Booey? Baba Booey. I thought they said when you can't clear it with a cupola, you get a bay window. When window is bay. When window is bay. We need to go full southern, embrace the bay window caboose. Yeah, look, there's the other pass or the freight train. It's so beautiful. It's a beautiful little short freight. Love it. The eastbound or the westbound? No comment. Hmm. Huh. I have apparently only burned through 20 gallons of diesel fuel on this entire journey. Wow. Well, meanwhile, let's go back to our little spurty diesel at the interchange. The banana train. We've been watching your chaos over there. All right, I'm clear if you want to send the passenger train. Cool. I shall do that. Oh, that's already going. Oh, did you already, uh... I didn't touch it. Oh, it's because it's going to the signal. Oh, do you need me to throw the switch? I got it. How do I have a yellow block? Check the switches at, um... Gulf Island. No, I'm at. I'm going into Bryson. Oh, cause you're set for the um, things, uh, yeah, for track for two. Yard. Yep. No, I'm set for track three. Well, good. Which I'm not complaining. That's kind of, I guess, where I need to be. I thought you wanted to be in Beverly Hills. That's what wah, wah. you wanna be. Beverly, Beverly Hills. Are there trains in Beverly Hills? I don't fucking know. If there's not trains in Beverly Hills, then I don't want to be there. Hey, if you know the answer, if are there trains in... Beverly Hills, let us know in the comments below. I heard there's at least chihuahuas. I have, yeah, I've heard about chihuahuas over there too. I don't, heard they're 
They get all up into all kinds of mischief, apparently. Tacos? Adventures. Tacos. Mischief and tacos. Tacos and burritos. Wow, the Jeep is rocking and rolling coming in here. Feel like I'm on a seafaring vessel, not a locomotive, and it's not a good thing. Good. All right, and oh, someone already set all the cards out for me to just grab. Yes, that was part of the uh, confusion and delay. All right. Uh, do you, where, I'm at Whittier. Do you want me to come in and get them? Because I got to come in and sideswipe seven, it looks like. <laughs> uh, seven will be out of your way momentarily. Seven. Seven is officially out of your way. Seven. Hey guys, why was six afraid of seven? The seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Because your mom. Your mom's so old, her chiropractor's a paleontologist. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Hey, Damn. Got fucking got. Well, I'll also mention real quick, since we are getting probably closer to the end of the stream time here, uh, thank you to everyone who is watching, and if you're enjoying the content and you're not already done, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, hitting the like button on the video because it definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that. And uh, We'll have a whole bunch. We actually have videos lined up every day for the next week uh, already on the channel. So definitely go check that out. And we'll be recording some new stuff here. Uh, this may be the last stream for the week, but never say never. So, you know, definitely uh, check it out if you can. You know, we will never say never. Hey, Angry, do you have a playlist? I do have playlists. All of cool. my videos are, and all the live streams are in playlists. So if you're looking for something to watch over the weekend, or background or noise, or stress. anything like that. GPU stress test? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've got an RX 580 I've got to try and fix. All right, people keep asking for story time with Ragtimer. Uh, oh let me see if I got a good story here. Um, okay. So, I've got one, but it's not for the squeamish. So, I don't know if I should tell it or not. Hmm. What say you, General? Um, I mean, I'm fine. If you want to stay even good. remotely family friendly, I wouldn't tell it. Yeah, I would say I'm fine with it, but I would say for the sake of your channel, uh, probably not. Okay, well, I'm going to tell a different one then that's less squeamish than uh, the one I was going to tell. So back in fifth grade... Uh, wow, going I had a, a, sib a younger sibling, not have, have still, he's still kicking. Um, I was going to say. And we were a couple, of, a couple of grades apart in elementary school. And one day, we both got on the bus heading home, and I looked over to him, and he looked unwell. He just looked sick. And I was like, you know, hey, are you doing okay? He's like, uh, you know, like, obviously, like not doing so hot but heaven, you know it's like okay well time. our bus ride's only like 10 minutes to get home so it's can't be that bad um but anyways uh our grandparents also lived in the same neighborhood as my parents and so we're going home on the bus and we are about to approach the bus stop where my grandparents lived. And my brother decided that the exact moment was the perfect time for him to um, unload the contents of his stomach across me. That was a less squeamish story. Um, 
Someone didn't throw a switch. And uh, I, of course, freaked out and in a moment of panic decided that the closest solution to getting the throw up off of me is to go to my grandparents' house, which was the next bus stop, and we just ran up the hill. Well, more like I pulled my brother up the hill because I was like, nope, we're not dealing with this today. Um, and then turned out that he had um, pneumonia and almost died. Oh. oh. But my quick thinking allowed me to make my mother get very upset because she was unsure why we had not gotten off at the bus stop. What's and Locust Pin BR3? That is uh, down at Dillsboro. Oh, so I gotta set that car out at Dillsboro? Yeah. Yeah. So I gotta fix someone else's mistake? Sounds like work. Uh, yes. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's the, the less squeamish of the two stories. Long story short, you were the hero of the day. As I always am. So, so basically, your parents were upset because you weren't dinking off at the bus stop that, you know, you normally did. Yes, but my grandparents were obviously like, what the hell are you doing here? And I was like, he's sick, I'm covered in stuff, please help. And they're like, oh. Yeah. So, so it was a case of, like, quick thinking. Was a different like, solution. It was either that or sit for another, like, five or ten minutes on the bus in my current situation, which was not, um... Ideal. ideal. Not ideal for me in my young, uh... My young life. Yeah, what, what would all the girls think? You yeah, me, the, the fifth grader, covered in all of the, uh... Ah! Okay, we're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Didn't just have to dump my train. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, as a side note, whoever was shuffling around the, uh, whoever was shuffling around the uh, coal cars up here, you left your switch turned. Whoever's the owner of the white sedan, you left your lights on. Ask me how I know. Wait, which coal cars in Bryson? The yeah, the one for the unloading, uh, the one for the uh, coaling tower next to the turntable. Oh, sorry, I yeah, thought I put them. About, just about ran into the turntable pit at thirty miles an hour. Okay, nice. I've got one more story. Um, and we'll probably shut down the stream in like fifteen, twenty minutes or so, just as a reference point for people here. Um, but this is the story about how Steve Cropper from the Blues Brothers owes Angry a five-star steak dinner. This oh. is a 100% true story. I swear to God. But, but if we ask Steve Cropper this, will he... He, he will he, remember this. This was a unique situation. So... If you don't know who Steve Cropper is, he was the blues guitarist with Otis Redding of sitting on the dock in the bay and like what did the guitar stuff on Green Onions and a lot of really awesome rhythm and blues guitar, Memphis guitar, all of that. Um, I was interning with the Smithsonian Institution in their American History Department um, or history museum in their culture and the arts department. And, mm -hmm. uh, I was helping out the curator of American music with other, uh, you know, projects. And one of the things that he was kind of lamenting was at the time, the museum did not have really anything that told the story of like Memphis rhythm and blues. And, the, met, the kind of the southern rhythm and blues scene in general. At the same time, I was doing an independent research project on a composer from the 19 teens and 20s named Mel Kaufman. Um, and I ended up putting out a CD of Mr. Kaufman's music shortly after all this stuff went down, but I digress. So, um, 
so it turned out that I got in contact with the family of this ragtime era musician and the dude was a the the dude's grandson who's still alive the descendant was a rhythm and blues guitarist and happened to know like blue lou marini steve cropper and a lot of the original band members from the blues brothers and so at a one of my concerts the curator of american music and this comp- like a descendant of a ragtime era composer met and realized that there could be opportunities here. And I was the one who inadvertently had connected them for these opportunities. So after a little bit, uh, it ended up that uh, Steve Cropper was contacted by the ragtime composer's grandson and said, Hey, the Smithsonian institution is interested in receiving a donation and celebrating your achievements, would you consider it? And the dude was like, uh, absolutely. It's the freaking Smithsonian. Like that's a dream of like any musician or person to be, you know, honored with an exhibit or have your stuff on loan. So they arranged a meeting in DC, uh, to just kind of talk it over, see how it all work out. And I was invited to this meeting because I was the one who inadvertently had connected everyone. So I had drinks with Steve Cropper, the creator of American Music for the Smithsonian, and this ragtime dude. Um, And, uh, you know, after drinks, we're all kind of talking. And the dude's grandson's like, you know, hey, well, the real reason we're here is because of, of Angry here. Angry is, you know, had this great story and, you know, told the whole connection about how it's researching his grandfather and trying to elevate their music. And it's kind of an incredible thing that this, you know, not even like 22 year old is the one who's helping to get something into the Smithsonian. And Steve Cropper was like, oh, man, that's fucking awesome. Uh, And he looked over to me. He's like, you know, Andrew, if you could have one meal, like their final meal on Earth, what would it be? And I said, it would be a nice steak dinner. And he said, well, that's exactly what we're going to do for you now. We're going to go ahead and get you a nice steak, you know, five-star steak dinner as a thank you from me for connecting all of us. So they pick a restaurant for us to go to, and it's called The Palm in Washington, D.C. It is a high class. It's where, like, all the bougie elite and senators and stuff from D.C. will go for food. This is where the night started to go wrong. So I left before them in a car and the others, you know, got into their cars. But at that same time, the path to get over to the restaurant was shut down by a presidential motorcade. Oh, God. And the dude who I had the phone number of, his phone died at that exact moment. So there was no way for us to get in contact to see what happened and they had called over to the restaurant to set up a reservation and they had a table and I am not dressed for it like I'm in like jeans and a polo shirt and this is a place of like people like in business suits and super dressed up but I say you know hey I'm here with the cropper party and they take me to a table and I'm trying to call them and text them and be like you know you know where are you you know, and I don't hear anything and like 30 minutes go by and they asked me if I wanted to order food. And I'm like, well, I don't know. Cause like the dude's not here. And I started to get looks from the people in the restaurant. Cause they're like, you know, what the fuck is this kid doing here? He's not ordering anything. He's just sipping water on his phone, waiting for people. And the people in the restaurant assumed that I was like a, a a reporter or like a, like someone who's trying to overhear conversations and dig up dirt on people. So people started to like, they saw me on Facebook and they're like, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Get off your phone. I'm like, excuse me. I'm looking at like Facebook and Reddit. And they're like, no, you're obviously like a spy or you're obviously a reporter trying to dig up dirt on us. I'm like, what the fuck? And finally, like the maitre d' for the restaurant came over. It's like, you need to leave. And I said, what the fuck is your problem? Like, but I didn't want to cause a scene. And after trying to call this guy one final time, I said, you know, fuck this. I'm done. I quit. I'm out. 
five minutes later, after I had left, the rest of them come in and say, hey, where's the kid? Where are the rest of the cropper party? And the people in the restaurant were like, oh, fuck, we just, you know, we just done goofed. This kid was not lying. We assumed he was. So they start calling me saying, oh, my gosh, we're so sorry. We finally got power. This is what's going on. The restaurant is like, so like, sorry. And I'm like, no, I was just, you know, treated like a criminal in front of all these random strangers in a restaurant by people. I am not going back. My evening is done. Good night. You know, and I got a personal phone call from Steve Cropper apologizing, saying, hey, the next time I'm in D.C., we'll try this again at a different restaurant. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Um, you know, but please know I appreciate everything you're doing. And the next day I got a call from the owner of the restaurant personally apologizing for the way I was treated and offering me and a group of four people to have a free dinner at the Palm. And I basically told him to go to hell because I had no intention of ever going back after the way I was treated. But that is the uh, completely true story of how Angry is still owed a five-star steak dinner by Steve Cropper of the Blues Brothers. So, Steve, if you're out there, get it done. Yeah, if you're watching, uh, you stole me that dinner. And uh, for those who um, don't believe me, especially um, those who are in this call, I have photos that I can prove. And I will try to find one here after the stream and I'll share it. Um, but if you don't believe him, go find Steve Cropper yourself and ask him. Yeah, ask him about how he donated his guitars to the Smithsonian and the kid who was the connection point. Watch this. There'll be one person out there that'll somehow pick up, somehow get wind of this and actually track down Steve Cropper and get like a whole story going on it. National news by the end of next week. Yeah, and then they'll, and then everyone, <laughs> everyone will hear you roasting absolutely roasting the restaurant I still get like mad thinking about that night like it was not great well, but understandably so like you were treated like shit yeah um, real. is is 90 done doing its business uh yeah, I'm filling with water oh it... okay sounds good by the way, the Lime Train has just dropped off the last of its cars. And we're full. And I'm getting out of your way now. Yay. I'm just going into the engine house, so. Uh, question. Should I just pull the Lime Train over onto one of the tracks? Um, I'm still doing some switching here. I figured once I got stuff over to, uh... I have one car for the Silver Interchange, and I have a couple more cars to drop off. Once I was done with that, I, I mean, would go ahead. So we probably like another 10 minutes. Well, that's what I'm asking. Is there anything for the Lime Train to do in the meantime? Not particularly that I'm aware of, because everything is more or less set out. All right. In that case, I'll go ahead and just uh, put it to bed. Okay. The, the horn signals are very confusing on the Lime Train. It's the same horn as the other one. No, you don't catch my drift. It the for some reason I am pretty much just I cannot decide on which direction is actually forward and which direction oh. is backwards. It all seems to depend. Yeah, that's on, what you mean. Yeah, it all seems to depend on what relative. It, it's all relative, apparently. You have relatives. Uh, I, I agree. Yeah, we'll say, um, Random Snake is asking a question, and, and I think you are just the person to answer it. Why am I ugly? Well, it started the day I was born. No, no, not that question. Oh, um, that, that question. What is ragtime sorry. music? Is it like bluegrass? So ragtime was the predecessor of bluegrass, and ragtime was the predecessor of pretty much all of the popular music that we have today. 
Um, Ragtime, which is what you're hearing in the background of the stream, which is actually my musical group, um, was America's first popular music, which was the combination of African-American rhythms of the Deep South and Midwest combined with the European classical form, especially the March form, similar like the music you hear, like John Philip Sousa, like Stars and Stripes Forever, you know, Washington Post, Seven Fidels, all that shit. Um, but uh, basically in the late 1800s, all of this started to mesh with the syncopation and you got uh, what they called ragtime. And out of ragtime, a lot of different styles kind of spawned off uh, still with this idea of, you know, American music that kind of just morphs over time. So depending on what track you kind of go down, ragtime turned into jazz, which then turned into like swing, which turned into bop, bebop, you know, freeform jazz, yep. you know, all that shit. Uh, in other popular okay. forms, you know, it kind of went like ragtime, uh, to blues to you know country country western bluegrass you know you can break down pretty much any type of piece in the modern day and you can hear the ragtime roots um and a good way to illustrate that is if y'all after the stream look up my group which is called the peacherine ragtime orchestra uh, there's our ragtime style covers of the Beatles, of Queen, of the Bee Gees, and Take On Me by AHA. And while you're like, well, why the hell would I watch a ragtime cover of one of those songs? The it thing works. is, it actually works really freaking well. And it's because any modern song, so whether you're a fan of hip hop, rap, country, blues swing jazz you know bebop whether you like taylor swift or um you know Nicki minaj or anyone really you can break down the roots of their music and get ragtime whether it's the beat of what you would have on the piano as the left hand with the sort of like the the bass and the chord structure whether it's the melody whether it's both you can break it down into its individual components so Ragtime was the predecessor of country and bluegrass and jazz and, you know, pretty much every musical style, R&B, you know, everything. This has been Musical Lessons with Angry. So. Yeah. You have been edumacated. Yes, all you silly people, you've been tricked into learning something tonight. Ha ha. Or if you're Mickey Mouse, ha ha. I hear a whistle. Oh, it's the, uh, not the banana train. Aren't you driving the banana train? I am driving the banana train. That's why I said it's not the banana train. Hey, why does your reporting mark end in an X if you're an actual railroad? Because I'm stupid. So, All right. actually, actually, I can educate on this. If your railroad is privately owned, you can also still use the X, even if you're connected to the national system. Oh, okay. Dude, the valley has like three different reporting marks I've seen so far. It's really confusing. And also, one of our steam engines has a reporting mark. And I don't know if that's because it's not grandfathered in because it's too new or what's going on. But Oh, are you talking yeah. about the Chinese one? Yeah, the Chineseium. Yeah. Veil. Is it because it like wasn't introduced into the system until it was brought over? or I, I have no clue. Because I would assume if it was like an Americanized locomotive, like an actual American locomotive, probably it is just a case of it gets uh, yeah. grandfathered in. But if it's actually like imported, I'm sure there's some sort of restriction on that. Yeah, because 40 and 97 don't have reporting marks on them. Or maybe it's just because it was 
in you know it's the only one that's been wearing that paint scheme since a rebuild that's like gone off our rails barely sorry i'm still trying to find a damn photo of the steve cropper thing it's on my facebook Excellent. i'm trying to find it that brings up a good point. Like, if you're a small, if you're a railroad like that, and you don't necessarily have reporting marks, but would you need to have reporting marks? Like, if your power leaves your own tracks? I don't know. I can ask. Uh, I'll ask my railroad boss whenever he gets back. Oh, I guess I shouldn't say speculative things about what my boss is doing. On stream. Dump bomb. I mean, they're not they're not lecherous or anything. They're just train things. Train things, secret train things. Yeah, secret, uh, ultra double secret steam locomotive. Super secret, secret squirrel train things. Understood. Big <sighs> trains, fast trains. Uh, I I don't know about fast trains, man. This is the Valley Railroad. Big trains, small trains, fast trains, slow trains. All this and more on lots and lots of trains. Oh god, that's unlocking a core memory. I ne of all the train videos I had, I never had that one. I never had it either, but I I remember the the advertisements for it though. Okay, I, I need to I need to get a copy of it to add to the vault. But I I did have I had it on VHS. Mm -hmm. Which was a vibe. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was, it was great. Okay, Nasu has asked for one more musical question. I will quickly answer it here. So, a lot of music coming out of the Midwest. So, again, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, you had a couple of very distinct music scenes kind of happening all at once. Uh, Chicago with the 1893 World's Fair was a huge kind of proving ground of a lot of this new American music coming together. So you had a lot of the major bands of the day playing there. You had classical music. You had, uh, you know, what some people would call minstrel music today. Uh, you would have what became ragtime and syncopation all coming together. And uh, Chicago ended up having quite a big blues and jazz scene, especially in the 1920s. Um, even in the ragtime era, a lot of that. And then kind of every sect of it kind of just grew in its own way. Um, gospel was kind of the combination of, you know, the various songs of African-Americans mixing with more of the European hymns and things, creating kind of a hybrid of, of that sort of style. Um, house music, it was just, again, like people just kept interpret the music and trying different things of so like hey we now have electronic instruments in the 70s uh in the 60s let's try playing this on it oh wonder if we could try that so all different sort of scenes kind of like just evolved over time um my favorite musical quote is one that's done by ub blake um and he was a ragtime and jazz um you know, legend. He's the guy who wrote I'm Just Wild About Harry, Memories of You, a whole bunch of other songs. But he has a quote that goes along the lines of Ragtime never really went away. People just called it something else. So, um, you know, again, the idea is the music. You know, people just said, okay, we've got this. What if I try this? So, you know, people will often say about Ragtime, like it's very structured in its style of music. So, okay, well, now what if we have it unstructured but the same style? And then you get jazz. Okay, well, let's make jazz sweet. Let's make it gritty. Let's make it, you know, and they would just, again, kind of branch off and do different things with it at different times. So um, I don't have a full breakdown of, like, what house and, stu and gospel came from Chicago, but the general answer is going to be the local music scene there was influenced by stuff, and then people started experimenting to try to do different stuff with the music. And then it just evolved from there. Da -ba. Cool. 
Oh, also, Andrew Reynolds with uh, some good info saying their museum uses OKRX reporting mark mostly for the new stuff they get shipped in over the class one. Because that's what, like, Oklahoma Railroad Museum? I think so. I yeah, think we have... Said. So, we got, we got a couple cars shipped to us via... And I know, like, they went over a couple railroads in CSX. And they don't have the Vail reporting mark. They have, like, V-A-L-X or something stupid on them. And I'm like, why is there two different ones? So V-A-L-X denotes privately owned. That's what the X means. I know, but we're a railroad. But if you're and a privately owned railroad, your railroad is the Then why, do, why is the locomotive V-A-L-E? Like, because they felt like it. I, I guess. I don't fucking know. Shit make I don't I don't I don't I don't try to understand shit there, I just work. You just do what you do. I just lap valves. Lap your valve. Oh god. She's Big lapping heart. on my valve till I drop. No. <laughs> so uh Angry, how goes the switching down at Silva? We are almost done with the switching at Silva. I am just dropping off the final car at the General. What? I see what you're doing. I see you inside the cab. I don't know what you're talking about. Lies, slander, and ac unfounded accusations. You're actually shaking quite a bit. Like you've got um, you got the shakes there, buddy. Too much coffee. Yeah. I'm just. No, I'm just terrified of your driving. You're terrified of my driving. Yeah. Yeah, Vale is the Valley Railroad of Connecticut. I just looked it up on the report on like the reporting marks wiki. Hey, do you want me to pick up these uh Silva paperboard uh bulkheads? Um uh, Barkers ish? Yes. Yeah, I would say go ahead, but at least for tonight, I would say we'll end the stream here. So we got a lot done. We've taken care of the next interchange drop. We have, uh, you know, taken care of Silva. We've gotten music all talked about, and we have had cars travel pretty much the entire length of the railroad. Uh, so we've got plenty of stuff going on. But thank you to everyone who tuned in tonight. I said we probably won't stream for the rest of the week, but we will come back maybe on Sunday. Uh, videos will be dropping every day on the channel, so please, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, and keep an eye out for new videos that'll be coming out. We also have a whole host of shorts, so please go and check that out if you can. Uh, but otherwise, thank you to everyone, and we will see y'all next time. Good night.